to the stream it is sunday night sunday night tonight's random voice brought to you by police bot is what you're listening to right now so i don't know how that sounds but pretty pretty groovy i'm sure i think it's going to be fabulous welcome to it another night of competitive rocket league that i will be casting uh let's get back onto a real voice Alrighty, people, how are you? We don't have too many here yet, but we do have Awesome Ninja, who was first. I'll take a drink to that. Congratulations, Awesome Ninja, on being first. Well done. Ah. So what are you saying, Awesome Ninja? If you could put design a gold explosion in the game, what would it be? Also, please don't take my noodles. Um... You know what? I have never thought about that, so I'm going to have to think about that and come back to you. But design is not my strength, broski. So don't expect anything amazing from me. All right, so tonight is Competitive Rocket League, and I have scheduled five best of five series to cast. So I may well be completely dead and exhausted by the end of tonight. But either way, we're going to have some fun. One of the matches is a little bit iffy. It might not happen. So it might only be four. But we play it as it comes and do what we can. So the last five days of my life have been consumed by casting and setting up my microphone that I have hardly played any competitive Rocket League myself. And I'm missing it terribly. So I'm hoping to get back to that in the not too distant future okay let's start getting ready for tonight is this the right roster i hope let's see uh no i see there's problems here so let me set up the right game because it's not e nordic they played last night So actually, the orange team are these, the Phantom Thieves, I think it is. Um, but the but the rosters are correct. So we have Mataku and Otaku, Mitaku and Otaku. That's the that's the orange team, the Phantom Thieves, and then Ak Akatsuki. Akatsuki, the Navman, Vola, and Lehar Lararn. Lararn. I'm gonna have to find out how to say that name. But he is a sub, so I might get lucky and not have the sub playing. Um Okay, this is gonna be fun. All right, so uh, my first game may not be having. They booked the game with me, and now now the one guy say, oh, we're not sure, actually. Haven't heard back from the other guy, so... Right. Well, the only thing I can do is just set it up, and if they show up, they show up. If they do not, well, then would you believe it, they do not. That's how this all works. But if it does go ahead, it is a two versus two. 
tier four, so that's around like mid diamond, diamond one, diamond two. So those are always fun. Lots of rushing about, lots of enthusiasm. Great to watch. Always very exciting, but we'll see if it goes ahead. And here's hoping. But very quiet in the stream tonight. Feels a little bit like... Hello? Hello, is anybody here? Let me know if you're here. Hello? Uh, hi. Hi. Well, I don't know. I'll, I'll keep this on until other people show up, because right now it's just you and me, Awesome Ninja. It's going to be a cozy night. All right, well, let me set up the lobby, and then I've done my bit. Akatsuki. Phantom, the phantom, phantom thieves are definitely being ph phantoms right now. Let's see, lobby's up. Let's see if anybody shows up. I don't know. Doge! Doge! Morgan, the f Mor Morgan Free Aim the Bat. Morgan, you have got to explain this name. Why do you have this name? Did I, I, I can't remember if I asked you this before or not. But, it's, but it is a little confusing. I see I've got a little bit, a little, something in the background. While you're typing your answer to that very important question. But how are you, Morgan? How are you? The Skyline is... Whoa, 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 I missed that. The Skyline is probably coming back. Based on what? You can't just throw rumors into the chat and not back them up. What the hell are you even talking about? Oh, by the way, the echoey voice was because no one was here, but people are arriving now, so... I can, I can, go, to, I can go to a crowded street somewhere. I'm just trying to... My invisible chair is not being so invisible. There we go. Now it's invisible. Well, it's invisible-ish. Invisible-ish. There's a new word for you. Okay, I'll go back to a standard. I'll go back to the proper voice now. Hey! Hey! Whoa! Both teams are here! Okay! Wow! <coughs> We can almost start, so let me tell you about the teams. I don't have too much information on them. I've only got information on one team. The other guy didn't come back to me, so the Phantom Thieves I know very little about. But, uh, Akatsuki, oh gosh, did I forget to put their information in? Akatsuki. Are. So they're 18 and 17 years old. Um, they're both from Germany. And they're champ one and champ two. So that, that should be a little bit of fun. So, uh, well, there you go. Now you know. Two versus two. Let's go. The teams are there. I'm, I don't know why I'm so shocked and surprised, but yet I am. So, best of five. Two versus two. Let's go, Commandos. It's howling time. Why is my roster not being cleared? What the hell is going on? Oh shit, I've got a bit of a problem here. 
Oh, I know what I did. I'm an idiot, that's why. Let's do this. Sorry, guys. I, uh, boom, boom, boom. And blue team. I know what I did. I changed something and didn't update my... Oh, my word. I'm missing goals here. Oh my word, that was appalling. I apologize for that. Okay, we're back in here. So it is the Phantom Thieves who have gotten the early lead. And, I'm, and I apologize to Mataku for missing it, but I nearly didn't miss his second goal, but he, but he did miss the goal. So, I know nothing about, nothing about the Phantom Thieves, so we're looking at around champ, champ level for the blue team, Akatsuki. And I'm assuming around the same for the other team. I'm a, a little confused as to what's happening here exactly. All right. So, Vola. Vola and the Navman. Okay, keeping control. I like it. It's popped up high. Navman's late getting up. This is very dangerous. It's going to come off the backboard. Mataku probably making a wise decision to back off a little, but now he has an open net to shoot at. Not quick enough to get it in, though. Oh, -ho! Navman rushing in, looking for the disruption, the demo, but has put him out of position. Vala has got an attack to face with no boost. It was such a good play, but Otaku misses the part. Azaz, welcome. Oh my word, Morgan, I, now I have to hear you speak, bro. I've got to get you on Discord. That sounds amazing. I am very well, thank you for asking, Morgan. Oh, oh, Taku can't get the save, and Navman will level things up for Akatsuki. Do you stream, Morgan? And if so... Can you send me a link? One all, half a game, well, well over half a game of Rocket League left to play. I'm supposed to turn my camera off. There we go. Oh, very physical, or both teams looking to be very physical. I don't know that they've been particularly strategic with the demos, but they're out there looking for them. A good little bit of play there for the Phantom Thieves, but it comes to nothing. Now they've got to defend. The clear is probably a pass. Vola bounces off the curve. Nav, man, too slow to get up. Dispossessed and cleared away. Taku making his way back and a pick up the corner boost and not make a fast enough turn on that, but the Nav, man, Kind of misses there. Mataku now off the backboard. It's going to drop down for Mataku. Had a clear shot. It's still very dangerous. Two desperate saves by Akatsuki. Keeps them in the game. Oh, -ho! but they make their way back round to the Phantom Thieves. And like thieves, like Phantom Thieves, they steal themselves a goal. Nice work by Otaku. Soloing it round the corner, passing to himself off the back wall and finding the net. Oh my goodness. But they couldn't maintain their lead for more than three seconds. Mataku makes a hash of the kickoff and the nav man's like, well, I'll just hit this ball and it'll go in the net. And indeed it did. Oh, more physical play. That's going to buy them some time defensively. The Navman looking to control his way out. This is bouncing awkwardly. Mataku nearly getting on it, but Vola gets there first and gets the clear. The Navman, I don't know if he was looking to pass. I'm not sure what he was doing there, but they've lost possession, but they have... 
gotten it back into the orange half. The nav man passing around the corner. This is so dangerous. The demo. But I didn't see what happened. But I do know for certain that it didn't go in the net. Oh, Otaku. Lovely solo play. Cleared away at the last by Vola. Keeps this game leveled up at two apiece. Oh, Nikki the goat. Moon chose Gracias. Thank you very much. Down off the backboard. Oh, Mataku going for the shot. But he's the, the clear to the side has given a great opportunity to Akatsuki. But the demo, both these teams loving the demos. And we are leveled up. Do we see a game time? Game one overtime? We do not. Because Mataku has had enough. Lovely pass from Otaku off the wall. Nice touch. Mataku finishes. And again, the Phantom Thieves find themselves ahead. Well, I've got to come watch your streams, bro. So send me a link. Uh, Discord me a link. Oh, no. They have done this twice. The Phantom Thieves. They've taken a lead and then conceded on the kickoff. They have got to fix the kickoff situation. They have given up. They have thrown away two leads. You hate to see it. It breaks your heart. Are they going to get a kickoff goal of their own? It was so close off the post and away. So fairly evenly matched up. Oh, yet another demo. Both of, both of these dreams trading kicks and punches out there on the field. It's like a... It's like a, a beating fest out there, but we do have Overtime! in game number one. Let's go, Commandos. It's howling time. Who prevails in the overtime? Oh, this is dangerous. Vola taking a month to turn around, but he does get the clear, or at least as far as Mataku. Here he comes. He's looking for the bump. Puts it in himself. Does that count as an own goal? Mataku coming in. Takes the shot. The Navman getting up. It does indeed the own goal. And it is the Phantom Thieves that take game number one. And we go now to the Forbidden Temple for Game 2. Thank you for noticing, Nikki. And I'm trying very hard not to overuse them because that the effects can get very tired if they're overused. Um, so I use them for very specific occasions. But I, But I have to say this. So I use all the effects very sparingly, except for these uh, the kick and the punch I love. <laughs> I love those effects. <laughs> okay, game two. Phantom Thieves are in front. Akatsuki looking for the comeback. Otaku boy! Otaku's gonna get it under the last defender and take an early lead for the Phantom Thieves. Nice work off the wall, but the defense, the net. Oh, was there a bump? I think he gave him the old kick on the way in to get that goal. So on a balance of play, and obviously it's easy to say because they won the first game, but it does seem to me that the Phantom Thieves have the slight edge. Oh! Man, the number of demos between these two teams, it's unbelievable. Mataku, oh, not getting any kind of touch there in defense. Struggling a little bit, but he does have the boost nicely controlled in the end. The Nav man popping right over him. 
Otaku. Puts it across to Otaku. Who passes to himself off the wall. He doesn't get the read cleanly. The nav man looking to take control. Oh, he sprayed it awkward, but Volo will have an opportunity to do something. Cut out by Otaku. And here come the Phantom Thieves again. Oh, I think Otaku, yeah, doesn't really have the boost, but does fantastically to get it in front. This is so awkward. Akatsuki must defend. They don't. Mataku gets the second for the Phantom Thieves. And now looking to take charge of this matchup. Oh, Mataku <laughs> bumps his mate right out of the way and says, Don't worry, mate. I got it. Akatsuki got all the work to do. Chasing the game, chasing the series. They don't want to leave it too late. They've got to do something now. They are so close together. Okay, that's fine. The positioning looks to have improved a little bit. And here they come. Volo with the flick. Gets it high and wide and past everybody, including his own teammate. More a graphics. What's up, dog? I feel I, I don't recognize the name, but I feel like you've been here before with a different name. Chance now, the nav man, open net, is that going to go wide? Indeed it is, Volo will have another go! Gets it across and in, and he reduces the deficit to just one better from Akatsuki. Away they go, kickoff number four. Phantom Thieves wanting to find that control they had earlier in the game. Jesse Vogel! I was just... I'm having a bit of like a double vision here. I see your name in chat and I was just reading your Discord message! Mataku is going to get his hat-trick! The man! The man! Is on fire! Scoring the hat-trick! Taking his team back to the two-goal lead! Phantom Thieves threatening to run away with it now. Mataku is goal hungry, but he doesn't get in the pass. Oh, but it is so the defense. Otaku says, uh, hey, uh, look, if no one's going to have this ball, I'm happy to come in and take it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, and do that he does. The ultimate scavenger gets himself a goal. Phantom Thieves, 4-1 up. Vola, looking to control, and I think that's a good way to go, but Otaku doing so well to dispossess through challenges both. Mataku, goal number four coming. No, down off the crossbar and out. But Akatsuki struggling to get the clear and it's coming right back to them. The nav man finally gets it away. Oh, the angle, the save, and it's away. But Akatsuki under so much pressure, but will they get one back? They will. The nav man from the halfway line gets a touch and Bangs it just well enough underneath to get the height, the distance, the finish. Uh, Diamond 3, Champ 1-ish. Ah, okay, Moray Graphics. Well, either way, happy to have you here and looking forward to casting you. You're playing against the oldies. Voila. Pops it up, looking to follow. Clear away. Time ticking down. Akatsuki going to find themselves with two games to make up. Always a very uncomfortable place to be. And the, the way the Phantom Thieves are playing, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Akatsuki can overcome the Phantom Thieves three times in a row to take the series. 
both of these teams sitting on an equal win-loss record within this league. Both with one win and two losses! Otaku! Otaku boy! Getting the fifth for his team, his second. And it has to be said. Ak Akatsuki. Akas Akatsuki are kind of giving them lots of open invitations to score. Exoticism. Well, there's a name I'm not going to stumble over during the game a lot. Oh, ho, ho! Mataku looking for the double and he came so close. Oh, ho! Vala now with the return goal almost gets there. Ten seconds to go now and this game's pretty much wrapped up. And indeed, it is wrapped up. Phantom Thieves banging out two victories in the row. Are they going to take it in a sweep? Can... Can Akatsuki make the comeback? We will find out on Neo Tokyo. Neo Tokyo coming up. If I can find it, there it is. Let's go. Um, no, I, I have some. I have some comments about the, um, about your little thing. But I'll discord you there, uh, Jesse. Because right now we have game three, two v two, tier four. Akatsuki, Phantom Thieves. Akatsuki behind two games to nothing. They gotta step it up again. They gotta find some magic to overcome the rampant Phantom Thieves, scoring five in the last game, and particularly Mataku with the hat trick. Excellent. Well, let's uh, let's have that let, let's have that link as well, please, Morgan. Mataku picking up in game three where he left off in game two lovely pass by Otaku off the wall and by rights was probably should have been his goal goal but Mataku says step back I got this two games up and a goal up lovely work by Mataku now he's just running rampant he reckons he's got the measure of this Akatsuki team and he's going to do all he can to score a waterfall of goals. Missed by Otaku. Becomes a pass to Mitaku. Firmly rooted in that blue corner. They get a little bit of respite now, but Otaku just picks it up and he's headed back toward the Akatsuki goal. Stopped by the Nav man, but Mitaku, lovely shot, but well read and well cleared and saved by Vola. Mataku, is he going to get his second? It's on target, but the nav man gets back in time. It is very awkward. We saw this a lot in both games. Akatsuki being so uncomfortable and awkward in front of their own goal. Not sure how to clear it. Not sure how to get there. And getting very awkward touches that line up the Phantom Thieves to score. And it shows in the scoreline. Two to nothing. Hanni Nata. Hanna Nata. Jeez, I had to read that slowly to myself. My goodness. Hanna Nata, welcome. Oh, Mataku. These guys are running away with it now. Mataku getting his second, but not having to work too hard for it. It has to be said. These are. We're seeing a lot of defensive goals through mistakes in defense rather than th through superior offensive play by the Phantom Thieves, which is not to say they haven't been playing well. They thoroughly deserve the goals they've had and where they find themselves in this game and in this series. 
Akatsuki behind. Oh my goodness, it's going to be goal number four. Mataku saying, I got a hat trick in game two. I want another one now. And boom, he just gets it. Hanny is fine. Thank you, Hananata. I will call you Hanny. But now Hananata is starting to be like Hananata. Hananata. Now it's like now it's like a thing. I don't know if I can stop saying Hananata. Shot by Mataku. He gets goal number four. Oh, can anybody stop this man from scoring? Well, certainly not Akatsuki. Try as they might. Tough, tough going out there for the team in blue. Akatsuki not have no idea how to get this ball out of their own half and form some kind of attack. This is the most dominant game we've seen so far by the Phantom Thieves. In both the other two games, Akatsuki could at least... They at least spent some time over in the orange half. They found a way through once or twice. This game, it just seems impossible. It's a bit awkward now for the Phantom Thieves. Can the Navman get round? He gets past one. But Mataku's there to clean up. And now Otaku gets it into his corner and out. Mataku waiting in the middle. The pass from Otaku, not quite angled well enough for Mataku to finish it off with a goal. But at this point, they realize they don't need to score. There's no urgency from them to score. They just want to keep control, keep the ball away from Akatsuki for as long as possible. And with every play, oh my goodness, Mataku getting goal number a lot. Finds the rebound off the backboard. Boom. Oh, Morgan, I appreciate that very, very much. Thank you. Mataku. Well, I know this. If I was in this game, if I was on the blue side, I would have voted for that forfeit some time ago. Although, I'm a little conflicted. When I play ones, I never forfeit. I never forfeit a ones game. But in twos and threes, I'm like, yeah, two goals behind. I'm done with this shit. I'm out of here. But Mataku is just going to run rampant. Are they going to now score an own goal or let one in to get to Brazil? Is that still even a thing? If it is, it shouldn't be. But the potential is certainly there. Voller, can they at least get one back? Can they get the Brazil for old time's sake? Oh, it's heading toward, but cleared by Otaku. He's not on board with the Brazil idea. He's happy to take the seven nothing lead. Otaku with only one goal. Okay, so now we can get the Barcelona now, but they're gonna have to let in two goals. Mataku though, Scores again. How many goals has this man scored? Seven goals. Okay. Otaku helping a little bit with one goal, but Mataku doing all of the hard, the heavy lifting. But to be fair, Otaku, Otaku boy, doing his bit too. This, I believe, is tier. Oh, I don't have the middle thingy on. Tier four. Uh, which is sort of diamondish, mid diamondish. Is it tier three? Um, do you know what? Let me get that proper that overlay on. I don't know why I've got it off. Oh, it says it's. Why don't I see it? That is weird. Oh, that's why. Okay, let's try that again. The tier thing should appear now. In three, two, one. Tier four. Tier four. Vola gets one back finally for Akatsuki. Now I play a version of Rocket League with friends, and in that version of Rocket League, 
the winner is always whoever scores last. So therefore, despite what you see, the 8-1 scoreline, it would be Akatsuki that would take game number three and push the series into a game four. I'm going to ask the teams, but I don't expect a positive answer. I don't expect multiple agreement that this can go to game four, but it is the Phantom Thieves who take it in a sweep. They dominated more and more as the series went on, deserved winners. Voller and the Nav Man are out of here. Akatsuki will take their lessons and come back stronger, no doubt. But good game and well played to the Phantom Thieves. They stole it, but in broad daylight. Yeah, that's a good idea, Jesse. One thing at a time. And a buckle. Hi. Welcome to the chat. So, Morgan and or Nikki, did you guys put the chats? You put it in the Discord where? Uh, in my Discord. Mataku, no problem. An absolute pleasure, bro. You were a monster. You were a monster out there. There should be rules about your sort of monstery. Well played, bro. Under, undercover noob, why are you telling me this? Did you send me an invite of some sort? Morgan and or Nikki, where did you put the links to your streams? Wow, look at that. Spark Savage! Savage! All right, peeps, so we have half an hour to go uh, to the next game. So I'm going to take a three-minute break. Let's call it a... F ah, awesome. Thank you very much for that. I shall find it in the Duck Sword. I see it. And I see it. Lovely stuff. <laughs> and I've got the whoop whoop. That is so fantastic. Thank you both. I gotta go check. I gotta check out the Morgan Freeman voice. Oh, I like it. I like it. All right, chaps. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take five minutes, right? And then I'm gonna be right back, right? Right. Let's get my timer ready, right? Let's get that started. Get it started. Get on the soon screen. See you in five.
Alrighty then, welcome back! So we have another game coming up in 27 minutes time, which seems like a lifetime away. Um, so I'm just going to set up their overlays and stuff, and then depending on the time, I'll just hang about and do stuff. Alrighty. Um, all right. Just collecting my thoughts together. Overlay. Stop. Overlay time. The next game we have coming up is a three versus three. <clears throat> um, I think this is like tier two. Champ 3 GC level. We have my favorite team in the IGL. Oldies but gold. 30 year old, 30 plus year olds taking on the kids. It's fabulous. One of my favorite things. Um, all right, let's set up the let me do one thing at a time. I'm not doing I'm not good at doing multiple things, so. Let's get it now, one at a time. So, blue team logo, and I'm and I'm going to commentate my way through it because <clears throat> that helps me get it right. Player number one on the blue side. Player one blue. Yes, I see you there. Player two blue. Oh, he was in chat. Exoticism. Try to say that after four shots. Exoticism. Exoticism. Player number three, Tensling. Tensling. Sounds German. And then their fourth player, Stylox. No? Sticks. X sticks. Oh my word. Why do people want to have complicated to say names? Swift Swift's RL coach. Hello, Broski. How are you? More graphics. You said me. Who's me? Ah, <laughs> Jesse, indeed, I love it. I need to get that as a sound. Oh, why is that up on the screen? That shouldn't be on the screen. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so let's try this. Will that work? <laughs> so I've completely redone my whole, uh, my whole stream deck. And of course, when you do that, things break. And I haven't quite got it all worked out yet. So... Please be a patient. We have a problem. Okay, let me solve with Stream Deck. Why? Why? Two actions, yes. What? This is hilarious. Oh, I know what happened. I know I know why I broke it. So it has to be team player one there, and then we copy this. Don't you love being part of my ongoing experiment? You sort of sit there and watch me fuck around with this. It's my favorite thing, fixing things live on air, trying to get my stream right live on air. <clears throat> All 
All right, so in theory, when I press this button, the whole roster will come up. Does it work? Oh, of course it doesn't. Why would it work? Oh, no, there it goes. It does work. Everybody calm down. We're good. So this would be blue team one deactivate exactly it's exactly what i want you to do no 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 ah. Player two, player three, player four. Oh, I need to do it for the whole other side as well. Oh my word, I'm going nuts. I know technology. I, a, I love technology when it works and when I understand it. Moray, which one is you? I look for the one with no assists. Everybody's got assists there. Indeedly Swifts RL. Coach, I'm just going to call you Swifts because that's a long, complicated... Ben B! I am so ready for the oldies. I am... I am ready for... And, and for the obvious reason, because... Please leave. Ah, oh, my goodness gracious me. Deactivate. Team player four blue. Oh, why has it not gone? Okay. One moment, please. I need to copy this again. Ah. Oh. Player one orange, player two orange, player three orange, and player four orange. So now in theory, when I press this, the other side's roster comes up, and I haven't copied the overlays yet, so there we go. No worries, Swift. Thanks for hanging. I appreciate you coming by. You are a rock star, and for, and for the like, I say thank you very much. Oh my word. Is it Zilly? Okay, Zill. I'm gonna call you Zill, and I know you're about to play, so this is a good time. This is a good time to know how to say your name. So please let me know. Whoa! Typical gamer just subbed. That definitely needs one of these. Thank you very much. Appreciate having you on board. That is fantastic. Who are the fastest region in the world? I missed an earlier conversation. Typical gamer, I saw that and I just said thank you very much. <laughs> I asked Zill how to say his name, so he typed his name exactly as I see it there. So, just how you say it. Okay, so Zill, Zilly, Zilly Ryan, Eon, Rion, Zilly Rion, Zill Rion. I, I'm struggling. Break it up into the syllables or get me into a call. Don't leave me hanging here. Zilly. Zilly. Zilly Ryan. Zy oh my word. Zilarian. Zilarian. Oh my god, I finally got there. 
Zalerian, am I right? Tell me I'm right. Oh my word, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no! Oh no, I still don't have it. Zyli Ryan. Oh no, he said yes. No, yes. Zalerian. Okay, let's do one at a time. I'll give you time to answer. Zalerian, is that right? Okay, let me finish my overlays. I'm like... Oh, I can't get all five of their players on. Thank you very much, Zalerian. I'm slow, but I get there in the end. I will get there in the end. Oh my word, my overlays are an absolute disaster right now. But it'll come right in a moment. There we go. One's right there. Another right one coming up. Now, what are these? Why is that there? Ah, see, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And then we have two names that refuse to leave when I ask them. No, no, Sparks, the overlay is a disaster. I'm fixing that up as we, as we speak. Uh, can you see my ranks in competitive? Diamond three in everything. Yeah, gotta go for it, Zalerian. Go and do your thing. Brian Bledsoe, what's up? When you say mine, when you, well, what's mine? Brian? Brian I can do. Bledsoe I think I'm okay with. Four, three, two. Ah, that's why. Layer three. Layer three blue. There we go. That's better. You have to come for the casting, stay for the technical interestingness. Orange player one. Orange player two. Orange player three. And orange player four. Okay. So now in theory, when I press this button... The rosters for the two teams will come up. Well, that's awkward. That's awkward. You're champ in three versus three, diamond three in one v one, diamond two in two v two. Oh wow! So you obviously, oh, you're champ in three versus three. Okay, well that's pretty good. Technological technology. Technology. Okay, well, let's try that then. Okay, so that clears the roster. I got that part right. And now, when I press this, do all of them appear? Oh, my word. This looks like it's going... No, so there's still two balls ups here. So that's on the orange side. My goodness gracious. My goodness gracious me. So that's on when they appear. So, one, two, three, four. So that's going to be down here. There we go. I see where I cocked up. So that's team player three, 
And this here is player four. Team two should be player two. Okay. We are there, ladies and gentlemen. Look at me getting my shit together. Um, so let's get rid of that and get rid of that. So now, when I press the button, diamond three and two. Okay, so we're actually pretty closely, we're pretty close, typical gamer. Close to each other. Look at that! Look at that! I know what I'm doing. I know what's going on. I got it, I got it, and then I can clear it. Boom, just like that. Damn it, I'm good. And I said, God damn! All right, we're 10 minutes out. It actually worked, bro. Can you even be branch it? Can you believe it? Um. Now let's see. Now let's see the in-game score. If I let's see if I've got those overlays right. If that works as well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and give myself a little bit of a prize. Be like, yeah, you're so cool. You're so cool. And right, hold on. Before I press the button, I'm actually gonna check it on the stream deck. Blue team one, orange team one, scoreboard middle. Blue team one, orange team one, scoreboard. I love it. So here we go. Check this out. Check this out. They're appearing now. There we go. Obelisk set versus oldies, but goldie, but gold. Tier two. So this is like champ three GC level. So it should be some pretty goddamn exciting play. So I'm pretty, pretty good by that. Typical gamer, I love. So, so t typical gamer asks me what my ranks are, and I say I'm diamond three in everything. And then he gives me his ranks, and he's champ in one of the one of the playlists. And then I'm like, hey, we're pretty close. He's like, yeah, I'm a little ahead, but we're close. <laughs> no worries, typical gamer. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for hanging. Do come back. Ooh, you get to see one of your opponents. Well, in theory, you're seeing two of your opponents. In theory, or as though you're talking about another competition. All right, so let me tell you about these teams. Let's get the rosters back up now that I know they're working. So, Obelisk. Zalarian. Um... So I'll tell you about the team. Zalarian is 18 years old. He's a champ too. And he's from the Netherlands. Uh, he's from his Netherlands. Uh, Deutsch. Uh, uh, Netherlands. And my accent is ferocious. Ferocious? Horrendous. Um, and then Exoticism is 18. Champ 3, also from the Netherlands. And Stick. Is it Stick or Stike? Stike. Steak. Steak. He's, he's German, so it must be Stück. Steak. Steak. Also 18. So a bunch of 18-year-olds coming up against the veterans. The veterans of oldies but gold. And they are... I'll go through their roster now. We have Raz, who's Swedish and 31. He's a GC1. Uh, bigger pardon, a GC2. Echo is 37 from England, a GC1, and Carbon, they picked up a kid into their roster. He's 26 and GC2 from England as well. So that's who's playing. And of course, as the caster, I'm neutral, but I do support the oldies. And I'm going to move this to there. There we go. Now I'm in front. I'm not behind the things. Yeah, in theory, but yeah. Which, which team were you talking about? All right, well, I'm here for a long time tonight, typical gamer, so yeah. All right, so that's who's playing. I'm going to set up the lobby. Let the teams know. And then we can get rolling. 
Rollin', rollin', rollin'. Exhibition, that's fun. Why did it go here? That's so weird. Manfield Stormy. Name password, team settings. We have Obelisk Set. And a team name that won't fit in. Oldies but gold. Oh, it does fit. Oldies but gold. I think it's supposed to be oldies but goldies, but we can never quite get that in anywhere. All right, lobby's up. Looking forward to this. Looking forward to this. And turn X. Are you asking me if I want to 1v1? If you are, the answer is absolutely. But not now. We'll have to do it on another stream. Tonight I'm casting. Watching other people play Rocket League. And what is your rank? Carbon GG. All right. Thanks for the clarity, uh, Carbon GG. So... All right, gotcha. Sparks, you're plat. Okay, then I definitely want a 1v1. Um, I have, I'm doing five, five series. This is only the second. So I've got three more series to do after this one. So when you say, what are you doing after this? Firstly, drinking some lemon and honey to rescue my voice, then probably passing out. Oh, look at that, Sparks. Swing it, swing in the old member. All right, we ha almost have both teams in. Waiting, waiting for, who have we got? We got Exoticism. Steak. 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 Someone tell me how to do, yeah, peace out, Morgan. Thanks for hanging. I'm going to check out your streams, bro. Ha <laughs> ha, Sandy Shaw's good man. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is, uh... <laughs> Michael Burford! Yeah, got some, got some support for Obelisk. Ballroom Blitz. Ticky, 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 ticky. Ballroom Blitz. Welcome to the chat, Ballroom Blitz. And I said, why is my camera suddenly gone dwanky at the top there? There we go. Never a dull technical moment on a Greybeard stream. I love it. Everything almost works. Ah, thank you, Moray. So it's stick. Stick, I'll go with that. No weird pronunciation. Stick, I can do. Exoticism. Stick. Zalarian. So I think we're just waiting... Hold on. This is a three versus three. We're waiting for a lot of people. What's my name in Roquette? I don't play Roquette. But if you do this, you will get my epic name for Rocket League. Carbon GG. It's hard to know. Uh, 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 I haven't seen Obelisk play. Um... I mean, my predictions, but it's based on no other information than I like older people. I think the oldies are good. So I need to see the first game. Once I've seen the first game, then then I will venture a prediction. Yeah, no sweat. We're not even... we still got three minutes before it's time, Carbon. So don't, don't worry about it. I'm good. Are you serious, Sandy? It's a great story. So Blitz arrived in my in my chat, what, about a week ago after casting one of their games. And when I saw Blitz, I was like, hey, Ballroom, 
and and it's it's been a long journey but now he calls himself ballroom blitz which is fantabulous wow i did not know that sandy that is really good to know and i was so excited about it i actually played a clip of the song on my stream last night and got a copyright warning from youtube of course i did because they're assholes do they monitor for me people saying that? I'm, am I going to get into trouble for saying that? Okay. I'm having an excellent day. Feeling good after casting the first series. Now getting into the second of five. And by the way, Sandy Shores, who's in the chat, is my twos partner. And I, I have completely pretty much ignored him this week. We normally play every night. And I think we played once in the last week. With all the casting that's going on. So I'm really hoping to get back to actually playing Rocket League soon. Because I miss it a lot. Oh, Sparks, I like it. Obelisk will be faster, but oldies will be better. Yes, indeed. We're giving them a head start there, Moray. Age gets you that little advantage. That's why they're marked down of having beaten you twice already. There we go. Cleared. Thanks for that. Thanks for alerting me. Uh, this is kind of around GC level, Ballroom. All right. We have everybody in. It is just going on 7 o'clock. Well, it is for me, whatever time it is for you, wherever you are in the world. This is a best of five. Obelisk have lost one, one, lost two. The oldies have won two and lost one. Interesting record. Let's see how it all pans up. Let's clear the rosters. Please work. There we go. They all left. Thank goodness for that. Okay, technical issues sorted. Champ 3 GC 1-ish. There we go. That's a fantastic answer. Nathaniel, I am fantastic. How are you? Welcome to chat. And away they go. Let's go, Commandos. It's howling time. Immediately with a physical play by Obelisk in the oldies corner. Here comes Stick down, but read by Echo. Raz, oh, already I'm, already I'm loving it. You can see... You know, the difference between... Oh, ho, 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 ho. almost getting it in there is Carbon GG. The difference between the sort of Diamond Champ 1 level and the Champ 3 GC level is just the pace. And already you can see the consistency on the ball. When someone goes up here, chances are good there will be connection. Raz clearing high on the wall into his own call. Echo gets it out. I don't think he wanted to hit the ceiling, but it falls nicely for Carbon. Stick is going to pass it out. Exo Exoticism taking it all the way. Can he get in a pass? Zalarian lining himself up. Stick lining himself up. But it's Carbon GG who's going to get there first. All right. So the first minute of play. I don't know if these guys have met each other before. But um, so I don't know if they know each other. But you get the idea that both teams are trying to, trying to suss each other out. How good are these opponents? Echo. With a softest shot on goal, Zoticism has no trouble clearing it. So they're trying to see, are they a fast team, a slow team, mechanical, strategic, rotational, getting all of that figured out. And we see that a minute and a half of the game, no score up yet. Raz, stick. So we've seen action on both sides of the field here, the ball spending time Pretty equally, I think, in both the orange and the blue half. No one finding a way through. This has popped up awkwardly. Carbon oh, went up and then realized it was in the wrong spot for it. But it works out okay. But they're under pressure, are the oldies. Exoticism with the shot. He makes it through. Comes flying in. Nice work by Stick to get it in. Raz looking to clear. Pops it awkwardly into the midfield. Exoticism gets in there. Echo can't get up in time for the save. And it is Obelisk with first blood. Kobe! What? Oh, what were you before, Kobe? Is this 
Cody Lucky. Oh! Almost squeezing in past the oldies net, but they're okay for now. You're Owen. What's up? All right, so since for about 15, 20 seconds leading up to the first goal, Obelisk were building their pressure and they've continued that after the kickoff, after taking that first goal. And the oldies being a little pinned back. And Debo now will open up a scoring lane. Echo with the shot. Zalerion gets in there and gets the block. Oh, stick with the whiff in midfield. Picked up by exoticism. Cut away by Echo. Raz flying to get at the end of that, but Zalerian was having none of it. Echo, patient, reads that, clears it. Raz doing well, gets past one, picks up mid boost. He's only got one to beat. The pass is going to go middle and awkward. Zalerian's up. This is good from the oldies. Can they capitalize? Raz takes it to the side wall. Sets it up, Carbon with the shot, it's gonna go just wide. Castle, Cheese Dog. Hello, Cheese Dog. Welcome to chat. Echo. Bunting it forward. Raz looking to get on the end of it. Just can't quite find it. Not sure if he ran out of boost or just misjudged that. All right, oldies now fighting back, building pressure, and it's going to land up being an own goal. But great work from the oldies. Raz touching it into the middle, passes it across. Garbin GG gets the finish, but do we count that? A bit harsh to call it an own goal, but yeah, it did go off him before it went in. So there we go. Exoticism. This even up. Just under a minute to go. I'm calling it now. No, I'm not. Echo gets a second for the oldies. And it is the way of the older people. We take time to warm up. But once we're warm, there's no stopping us. Echo finishing it off. 2-1 to the oldies. Obelisk were looking very strong for a long period, but now pushed back by the oldies. And will there be any stop in them? Everyone getting in on the action, the entire team now scoring. A lot of work by Raz, and it pays off there. Was that a bump in goal? I think it was on the last defender. The oldies looking strong. Twenty-eight seconds to go. I'm not sure that Obelisk are going to be able to bring this back before the end of this game. And perhaps already might be looking to game two and how they change things up. Perhaps not, but Zalerian looking good. Taking it to the orange corner. Can he get it into the middle? He muffs it at the last second. Ten seconds to go. The time is now or not at all. It's floating dangerously in front. A couple of whips. We'll see the clock run down. <laughs> And oldies but gold take game number one. So having seen both teams now, I was asked in chat before the start of the series on my prediction for this. And I don't think we're going to see a sweep. Overall, I think we're going to see it close. My hope always is to go to a game five overtime. But I think we're going to see a 3-1 win to the oldies. That's my prediction. A little bit of, based on a little bit of analysis, a little bit of bias, I suppose. Uh, let's go to the next field, which is going to be Forbidden Temple. We had night last time, to, now we have day. Let's go, Commandos. It's howling time. Ballroom Blitz, I love to hear it. I love to hear it, and I would love to cast more of your games. Absolutely. 
All right, here we are. Game number two, Oldies up against Obelisk. Currently, the Oldies in front by a game. Obelisk going to look to press hard and early, I think. They want to make a statement early on, not let this game drift. It drifted a little bit in game number one. Raz, looking to control, pops it up into the middle. Zalerian's going to pick it up and take it out. Followed up by Stick. They do like those high looping balls in front of goal. But I think if they're going to, with that strategy, they're going to want to be a little bit quicker on someone receiving the passes. Otherwise, they're too easy to intercept. And Echo now. Four oldies. Oldies, you see them bring in this kind of slow pressure. Gradually, gradually, they play higher and higher up in the field. The next thing, they're right up in your face threatening your goal and it's worked well for them and now obelisk need to get it out and transition into some kind of forward momentum here they come but cut out by carbon who again looking for the slow burn pressure by the oldies triple some support for the oldies in chat you love to see it oh so sparks cody was you gotcha was it Cody or Kobe? Stick now. So very similar to the first game. A lot of that game passed. We only saw the first goal fairly late. The first goal by Obelisk. But once that goal was was scored suddenly the oldies were on fire here they come stick is gonna get the clear yes he is raz picking up there's an open net can somebody get back carbon's up but met by exoticism who gets in the way and says no dice gets it out but it's now coming back to the obelisk net the entire oldies team is up front looking for that goal hunting prowling but they don't come away with it and they rotate back into position Kobe, gotcha, broski. The oldies looking very solid, very firm, and not, not being outdone are obelisk, but they are experiencing most of the pressure right now and can't quite get it clear well enough to bring it upfield the way oldies have been able to do it. Exoticism getting the same. They've looked very firm in defense, doing well in defense, but not in that slow move back up the field banging it forward and getting the whole team up and threatening the oldies goal one minute 50 left in this match we are deadlocked at no goals but here an opportunity for the oldies stick will save will come up with a relatively easy save carbon exoticism doing a, having to do a lot of work in his own goal is he but he's doing it firmly a minute and a half left. The oldies having a good amount of possession, but not making it count just yet. Obelisk have not experienced and not had as much possession and as much attacking movement forward. But the game remains deadlocked. What is our shot situation? Actually, who's, who's had what shots? Uh, steal a quick look here. Look at that. Obelisk with one shot and seven have come from oldies yet the score is completely level so you can have all the shots in the world and it means nada nothing and mahala unless you're putting it into the net we see that now under a minute at this time in the last game it was three one to the oldies we're deadlocked at nothing are we going to see a zero goal overtime is that going wide? Indeed it is. Echo makes doubly sure of it. But pressure building from Obelisk. Looking to break through. 30 seconds to goal. We're heading into golden goal territory. Whoever scores now more than likely to win the game. The longer this goes on. But are we marching inexorably toward overtime? You have a feeling it is. A mistake by the Zalarian is going to be cleaned up by Stick. Fortunately, Oldie's not punishing Obelisk for that. We're under 10 seconds. This 
is oh mistake and again stick is there to make sure that they don't get punished the clock has run down last attempt by the oldies that's high and dangerous it's off the backboard and it bounces and we have let's go Blitz, I'll have a look at your comment after the game. A demo on the waiting, attacking player for the oldies. And now there's a little bit of trouble. Zalerian's going to put it wide. Carbon looking to clear it. Rolls it dangerously. Heart in mouth moment right across the goal. But it goes to safety. Five minutes and 30 seconds of Rocket League played. And no goal for either team. Who falters first? Now it becomes... A game of attrition. Who tires mentally first? Because when you're just in the game constantly and there's no time to really take a breath or refocus, mental fatigue starts to play a role. So who will break first? And I worry in that scenario for my older my older com comrades and whether they can keep up with us. It does get tough. And it has been very even in this overtime. Both teams having a shot, both teams coming forward, both teams defending solidly and getting it away. Michael Burford calling it for Obelisk, but Echo almost scoring for the oldies. They still have another chance. This is dangerous. Can Raz get in there? He's got an opportunity. Okay, he chooses to slow it down. A good idea. Passes to Carbon. Carbon with the shot. Exoticism, as he has so often in this game clearing it away and you can see there he has seven saves to exoticism so doing heroic work in defense echo how far can he take this raz looking to take it go up with him carbon now puts it very wide and into the blue corner oh exoticism can't get on the end for the redirect there's been a demo Stick is going to go up off the backboard. Looking for the double. Doesn't get it. Exoticism now. A bit of a defensive mistake. Carbon looking to get on the end of it is whacked away from it. So they don't get the possession they were looking for. And now we can see the mistakes creeping into the game. The mental fatigue. Seven and a half minutes of constant play. There's been no break. No goal to break it up with a new fresh kickoff. So players have a time to reset. It is just moving into attacking mode and then immediately back into defense, then into attack. And eventually the mistakes come out and one of those mistakes will eventually be punished. Carbon, Carbon Echo trying to get on the end of it, doesn't read it well and now they've got to rotate urgently back into position. They do so and they'll have a chance now to bring it forward. Sparks, thanks for that inside info. Obelisk at 12th, Oldies are ninth. So on paper, you're probably expecting Oldies to win. Well, but it's so close. Anything can happen on the day. Carbon with a whiff there. Phileas Bompras. Who played Balloon on Switch? No idea. Any Switch players in the chat? The tension continues. We have had eight and a half minutes of this game and not a goal to show for it. Without a doubt, the longest overtime I have had the pleasure to cast thus far. I am loving it. Both teams are going at it. Hammer and tongs. No quarter being given by the team. Zalerian had to get that touch. Otherwise, he was dead to rights for a goal. Exoticism with a shot cleared by Carbon. My word and on it goes. Goal to goal. The shots come, the shots leave. The clears come, the pickups, the catches. It's all happening. Neither team can break through. How long will this overtime go on? It is nine and a half minutes coming up. The goal's empty. Stick, oh my word. He saves it off the post at the last second. I thought they were done for. But the overtime, this epic overtime, continues.
Jesse Vogel, I wouldn't be surprised at this stage. We have, oh no! And there it is, the error. The error in defense finally is punished. Exoticism looking to clear. It pinches on the side wall. No one can get back in time. And it rolls into the net after almost two full games of overtime, of Rocket League. We had five minutes, five minutes of regulation and almost five minutes of overtime. But it is the oldies who prevail with just one goal. Are they going to be swept? I can't see it happening. I can't see Obelisk not taking at least one game from the oldies. But we're going to find out next as we go to... We are going to go to Wasteland Night. My second favorite pitch. Exoticism, seven saves. Look at that. But the number of shots, oldies firing off those shots. The defense of Obelisk holding firm for nine minutes and then eventually succumbing to the pressure. This is game number three. The supporters in chat for Obelisk calling for the reverse. Well, if it is to happen, it has to start now. They need to win this game. Oldies on the verge of a sweep. Sticks. Raz now trying to bring it forward. It, I was, it, curious to see how or if Obelisk are going to change up their game. Almost going in there. And I'm not sure if it was just a misread or your old classic whip. But it, uh, an opportunity for the oldies goes begging. The oldies playing three best of fives tonight. This three versus three and then two versus two. This game and the next two series are with the oldies playing. Oh, nervy stuff in front of the oldies net. Obelisk through exoticism trying to get a pass off the backboard. Zelerian might still do it. Can't find the rebound and the angle. But this is good pressure from Obelisk. Have they had a good little period of play there? Can they get... Can they continue the pressure? Yes, they can. Stick's going to get it forward. Drops it down for Zalerian, who's going to try and bring it around the corner. And he whips on the pass. Doesn't get it in front. But it's still very awkward. Oldies survive. And you get a sense this is building to another scoreless epic. It is remarkable. Zalerian gets a touch. It is remarkable how tense, how exciting, and how exhilarating a low scoring game can be as each team because as the seconds pass the tension builds and it builds almost to breaking point it is just fantastic look at this sparks giving me he's like doing the job of the producer here coming in with all the golden information obelisk have not been swept this season Box, but that's the way it goes. Dragetta, welcome back. Good to see you. Zelerian, looking to control it out. Trying to be a bit more focused. Runs out of boost. Wave dashes into the ball. And the touch after that kind of lets him down. But it is still firmly stick now. We'll have a shot. Echo. I think wasn't entirely sure what was going on and as he looked up the ball was right there he had to re react very quickly to get it away well there you go Spoxy but Rocket League it's a funny old game you see this in RLCS all the time the very strong team struggling against the, the, the lower teams they you know, they make easy lunch of the high-ranked teams, but struggle against the low ones. Happens a lot. Zelerian, Echo with the clear. Can't get the read off the sidewall. Carbon GG misses as well. 
Raz will pick up. Oh, the demo in front of the net. This is an opportunity that's going to come off. Does he get the double? It was so close. Nicely done by Raz, but he can't finish. The defense of Obelisk getting it away. Uh, but it's around champ three, grand champ. Dragetta. A little bit of a double commit in defense. It's okay, though. They're, they're fine. Oh, the clear from Exotus is a fine stick. Oh, the miss here. This should be a goal from Carbon. And indeed it is. Getting very lucky through the mistake in defense. Carbon just being in the right place. The ball lands on him. He sees the open net and says, Well, okay. I know what I gotta do now. Take it home and take it home he does. A minute left for Obelisk not to be swept for the first time this season. No, not GC3. Oh. Sorry, I thought you were saying GC3. Yeah, C3, uh, GC1. So, Sparks, do you want to take on the permanent position of producer? It pays absolutely nothing. This is going to be a second. No. Wow, Stick in this series has pulled out some amazing last second saves. Somehow he's managed to extend the length of his car to get a desperate touch at the last second to clear balls. It's saved there, but they only have 20 seconds left. And now we're getting to the stage of massive clock pressure. This will be their last opportunity! And that will be that. Good game. Well played all round. And for the first time, Obelisk are swept in the series. And I'm surprised that happened. Obelisk, I don't think, played badly enough to be swept. It was so close for such long portions of that game. I expected them to at least take one game. I did see the oldies winning it. 3-1 was my prediction. I'm wrong, but the oldies do take it, and their record will improve to three wins, one loss. Obelisk looking for a second win after today suffering their third loss. But great series, very well played to the oldies. They are coming up again in our next series in a 2v2 best of five in, wow, 35 minutes. That's a long time from now. And this is a game that we're not sure. Um, okay, do I need to time out this dude? Yes, I do. Sorry about that. I missed the spam. Uh, there we go. There we go. Let's time him out. Ballroom Blitz! Hold on a second, Ballroom Blitz. Coming in with the Super Chat. Outstanding, dude. Thank you very much. Always appreciate it. Ah, stick and carbon friends of yours, JDM. Thanks for the super chat, Ballroom Blitz. That is awesome. No, dude, it is. It's 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 freaking awesome, and you you have no idea how awesome uh, it makes it makes me feel that you do that. It's fabulous. The amount means nothing. Just means I'm not retiring. That's okay. I was planning to be here tomorrow anyway. So nothing changes. It's all good. <laughs> Okay, so Ninja Brew is in the chat. How's it, Broski? Good to see you. Welcome. All right, look at this. Sparks, giving me all the solid info. Oldies are now through to the playoffs. Jesse, wouldn't that, that, that overtime, that is the best overtime I've had so far. Four minutes, 57 seconds of overtime. It was a nail biter. Oh, look at that. Sparks turning down my job offer. But I had such attractive perks, Sparks, and you, and you just, you just dogging me like that. Yeah, I know, Ninja Brew, but you know what? You're here now. All is good. Jesse Vogel. Moray, an absolute pleasure. Always, always a thrill. I, it's uh, something I love doing. So it's a 
Uh, I'm, I'm just glad you asked me to do it. Uh, so, JDM, what did you say? I was planning tryouts with Stick before he joined Obelisk. And maybe... Oh, wow. Okay, nice. Um, Sparks. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, that, we, can, we can rock some twos. Now, there was... Ballroom, Ballroom Blitz said something earlier that I wanted to comment on. And I was just going back on the chat. Oh, we have a substitute now for our team, which we think will help us improve if one of us is getting rowdy or just not playing at their best. Okay, fair enough. Good move. Always good to have that sub there, Ballroom. Absolutely. Carbon, well played. Experience trumps enthusiastic youth. There you go. Um, we could, Jesse. No, we need to chat a little bit more. Oh no. Okay, so so we have two shaky series coming up. The next game, we're not sure if the opponents are going to show. Um, and and then I've just been messaged by my last series book for the night that they're like, yeah, we're not sure if they're going to show, but we'll see. So let's just see. Let me just wash my bowl up and I'll send you an invite. That is the most random thing I've heard said in a chat. Say that to our pacemakers after the overtime. Ah, uh, Carbon, that was so epic. I, it was like, without a doubt, the best overtime I've cast. I don't, I have never cast an overtime so long. Four minutes, 57 seconds. It was fantastic. Well played. Um, guys, I'm going to just turn the cam off for a second. I'm in my long sleeve shirt because we're heading into winter here in the Southern Hemisphere. And it's been very chilly. But now in my closed room with all the lights, it's warming up. And I need to put on something a little more comfortable. I'll be right back. I'll read. That's a little better. All right, eh? Anime J TikTok. What's up? What's up? Good to have you. Welcome to chat. So, has Sparks finished uh, cleaning up his bowl? Uh, get rid of the scoreboard. I should be making, I should be getting my overlay sorted out. That took far longer than it should the last time. Ah, Sparks has invited me. Sparks, we got time for one, maybe two. Let's see how we go. And peeps, how's my, how's my, oh my word, <laughs> how's the audio by the way, I, I think I've got this new mic properly set up, um, it was sounding good in tests, but let me know what you think about the mic and the audio, and the background music, I think it would actually be a little bit louder if I'm honest, I'm going to turn up the music a little, tell me if it's distracting. All right, I'm warming you up. I'm warming you up, Sparks. Jesse, are you talking about your your first draft? Or what idea are you talking about here? Yeah! 
efficiency scores. Oh, look at that. Rage quit. Rage quit. Nose. I knows you. How's it, man? Welcome to chat. Oh, Ninja Brew. I thank you, broski. Thank you for that. Oh, wow. Jesse. Awesome. Thank you. I missed the boost. What a noob. Nice shot. Nice shot. Oh, look at that. We rage quitting them left and right. They're in the game. They're out the game. Ah! Oh, I love Jesse. I actually can't tell you how much I love that idea. Well, that didn't take long. That was e an easy dub. Yeah, I don't mind Sparks. I'm not precious about my rank, so I don't care. Let's go, Commandos. Hello there. Oh, Sparks, do you mean uh, as an item in the shop? Whoa, nicely done. Ballroom. That is, dude, I'm almost 50 years old. You do eventually get better. You just, you keep going. You gotta, you gotta work on the stuff that you know you need to work on. Rocket League improvement is the application of effort over time, bro. You just keep going. If you feel like it's not improving, then you have to change up what you're doing. You'll absolutely get better. Whoopsie. I'm trying to do my air roll left, and I still suck at it so bad, but whenever I play casual, I try. Jesse, what are you talking about? What link? No, no, send it to me in Discord. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Sorry, I thought you were... I Whoops. I thought you were going to fake. Let's go. Oh, all mine. Sorry. My bad. Sparks, I totally cocked that up. I kept expecting you to go. I should have gone. I realized that. I uh, cocked that up. Sorry, bro. Oh, no, Jesse, I know exactly what I need to do to enable them. I can enable them. I've done everything. But the problem I'm having... Before I enable the emotes, I have to enable memberships. And for that, I have to verify my address. Um, and to verify your address, Google sends you in the mail, physical mail, a pin. And then you have to punch it in. I'm not getting that mail. I've been waiting since January to get that pin. So I don't want to enable memberships until I've sorted that out so I can actually get paid by Google all the money I've made through super chats is still sitting with Google for six months which is not a shit ton of money but it's enough that I'd like to have it sorry Sparks I'm being so distracted by chat here broski I'm not focusing I'll try focus now
How did I miss that? I know why I missed it. I did a noob maneuver. Oh wow. I'm killing sparks here. I'm bumping it at every turn. All right, my game's falling apart, Sparky. Ninja Brew, they must indeed sort their shiz out. Oh, don't worry about it, Sparks. I'm playing like a disaster out here. I'm also warming up, by the way. I, I, I don't play Rocket League anymore. It's like... I cast the games. And don't play them, which sucks. Because I love playing them. Why am I missing? Oh. <laughs> That sucked. Okay, Jesse, we'll talk. Uh, Monday stream, I think 7 o'clock. Ninja Brew. That sounds amazing. Go check that out and confirm. All right. I need to... I'm going to go work on my overlay, Spark. Sorry about that. I was... Uh, I feel like I started off well and then some about halfway through became a bit of a space cowboy. Your hands are cold. Where are you, Sparks? Aren't you guys in springtime now? It's getting warm and fabulous. YouTube has a feature that'll something you local time. That'll what? Tell you local time? Okay, fine. I feel like I'm missing something from earlier. Okay, we'll go. All right. Let me sort out the overlays. So I'm going to go through all the effort to sort out the overlay that may not happen. No, no, no. This one is happening. No, it's the one, at the next one. An hour after that, that's the iffy one. Okay, good. Logo? I was supposed to take my five-minute break. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a five-minute break, chaps. It'll give me a time to... Get myself ready and I'll sort out the overlays while the break is on. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, Jesse. Thank you. 
All right, let's go to here and let's set the timer to five minutes. I'll see you in a few, boys. Be back.
Oh, I see my voice randomizer has turned on. So let me tell you a story, a story about my childhood. It started off well, and it looked so full of promise and hope and excitement. But eventually, the truth would be revealed to me, a truth that would shock me so deeply. All right, I don't know where the story is going, never mind. Let's go here. Okay, I see, I see. Hello. Let's turn off this. And oh, I see the music hasn't come back on. Let's do that. Alrighty then. What is Spark saying in chat here? <laughs> Indeed you are, Sparks. Indeed you are. Um, okay, we are back. I've almost got the I've almost got the uh, uh, the overlay sorted. Um, well, let's see if I get the rosters up. Scoreboard and rosters. Let's see. <laughs> I saw it, Sparks. I saw it. So, corpses, kids. Oh, I see. This is all all wrong. So, blue team player three needs to go. Done. And player four needs to go. Alrighty. And then... I'm not sure which of these two are playing tonight. Um, so this is the oldies roster. I think it's Erasmus or Raz and Echo that are going to be playing in the 2v2. So this is tier 2. And uh, it's no secret that 2v2 is my favorite playlist. So very... I saw it! I saw I saw I saw it, Sparks. It was childish, but at the same time, hella funny. So thank you for that. So let's tell you about the teams that are playing tonight. So the oldies but gold, you already know. Uh, Raz, to remind you, is 31 and he's around GC2 from Sweden. Little girls from Sweden dream of silver screen quotations. That's all I know about Sweden. And then and then Echo, who I think is, is the twos player. Is gonna be is 37 from England. England! And he's GC1. So there you go. Exciting stuff. Then, on the other hand, so this is now the old versus the young. Because KK KKFM Harry, and I'm just gonna call him Harry, and Zach's back are both 15. 15 years old. They were born this century. Champ 3 and GC1. And both are from England. So it's going to be a pretty cool matchup. Why are you not allowed in the in the 2v2? Because you're too damn young, Carbon. Is that the problem? What else is from Sweden? I know we got cheese. What else? we? Ikea! Not old enough. There you go. You know what? There are some places you just don't want to take the kids. I understand that. I can empathize. Zero G. Are the, so are they, are they in the same tier as you then? So this game is ninth versus 20th. I love Sparks is doing excellent production work here. Who's in ninth and who's in 20th? What? You're 16, Ballroom Blitz. What have I got on my little spreadsheet here? No, I've got 16 on my spreadsheet. Ah, sorry, Raz, I missed that. You and Echo. Okay, fine. So, um, so this is this is where it gets awkward. 
So you see the roster there, and then suddenly one person just like disappears. You're like, what happened? What happened to that guy? How come he's no longer? Oh no, I, oh no, I took it off the wrong place. That's funny. Oh, he's orange. That's why. One day I'm going to be very good at these overlays and my stream labs. I'm getting better and better. So I, at, at least I'm, I'm, I've solved the problem of having a stream that looks consistently good. I've now got a stream that sounds consistently good. So step by step we get there. Uh, ballroom Blitz, you are... Do you know what? I should actually just time you out or ban you for saying you're old. It's just ridiculous. Oldies are ninth. Okay, oldies are rocking these... Uh, Rocking these things. Alright, Jesse, I'll tell you something now that'll make you feel even scarier. So in 171 days, you'll be 17. That's when I got married. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, please. Oh, please. My back always hurts. You're not old until you wake you and until you get an injury from sleeping. That's when you know you're old. Oh, wow. It's 5-2. Okay. You know what? And here I am lollygagging around. Let me, uh, <laughs> let me set up the lobby. Let's go back to Mansfield. Do you know what? Let's... One, two, three, four. Okay, fine. I'm going, I'm going to change it up a little. Let's have DFH Stadium for a change. Should we do... I hate the circuit. Is, okay, DFH Stormy. We're going there. Team settings. I only have to change one. This is pretty groovy. Corpses. Kids. Love it. Love it. Create match. Ernst Buker, dude. Hello. Hold on. I need to. I need to. I need to give you one of these. Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. A long time. Welcome. How are you? Uh Okay, good. Teams know. Alrighty, we're in for another best of five epic. Yeah, Ernst, I'm pretty solid, bro. Pretty damn solid. What was the what was the old RLCSX no not the old one? What is the RLCSX rotation? I forget. I do think it's... I can't remember if it's Manfield or DFH first, and then Forbidden Temple, then Neo, then Wasteland, then Champions Field, if it goes that far. Oh, nice one. Growth ballroom. I love it. I love it. Oh, that is the old map rotation. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. That's kind of what I based it on, but I wasn't sure that I got it right. All right, Echo is in. Raz is in. Now we're just waiting on the 15-year-olds. We call the youngsters. <laughs> Jesse. It's hilarious that that's what you thought and that you thought I was capable of calculating when 171 days was from now. What I was actually, I got married when I was 17. <laughs> and I go, oh, that's funny. DFH Urban, Urban Central. I've never liked Urban Central as a field, I've got to be honest. And Utopia is boring. It's like one of the old, old school. That's like an OG map.
What are you talking about, Jesse? A link for where? Brian plays! Wow, that's a lot of questions. I play on PC with a DualSense 5 controller. Um, I'm not on Xbox and I don't have Gravity Bomb. And no, we can't trade. But thanks for asking all of those questions. Uh, do you know which one I do like? I like Farmstead. I like Farmstead Night, the one with the. It looks kind of. It's very eerie with the fog. I love that one. Farmstead, otherwise, it, it is kind of boring. Which actually reminds me now. I don't think I've played Farmstead in ages. Maybe I should chuck a Farmstead in here. No worries, Brian. Thanks for stopping by. All right, we have everyone here. We can go. So let's clear the rosters. Hey, it worked out. Uh, thank you very much. Timmy Boy! Um, it's a league. It's the Indie Gaming League. There's a link in the description. Um, so it's not a it's not a tournament played on one night or in one day or over a weekend. It's played over several weeks. All right, we are ready. Let's go, Commandos. It's Howling time. Cody Lucky, my dog. Oh. All right, so we I, I, everyone was in the lobby, so I said go, and then Harry's like, ah, yeah, my teammate will be back in a minute. So it's a, a false start. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, no, no, I won't add it into this. I'm just saying I haven't played it for a while. Um, although I did now playing back in my head what I said it did sound like I was going to throw in Farmstead here but I don't think it's on the list of sanctioned maps anyway and why do you love Urban Central so much Penguin is back. Ghost! Ghost! Ghost is back in the chat. <clears throat> Do I have a voice for Ghost? I need to get a voice for Ghost. Does that mean they're ready? Okay, we have a game, people. They're loading up. Game one, best of five, two versus two, tier two. Let's do this, and they're off. The battle for supremacy in 2v2. No third man to rely on. You've got to defend. You have to attack. You have to do them at the same time. Harry gets up. It's going to be awkward. The oldies have a fantastic opportunity. Zach's back. Almost no boost. Gets the clear, but Raz off the backboard. Oh, looking for the double. He came within inches of sinking the double, but the score remains. Zilcho, Zilcho after 30 seconds. Well, what? What? Jesus. Sorry, dude. I'm in the middle of a game here, but I'm stunned. Holy shit. This is the biggest super chat I've gotten ever. Holy moly. I'm... Dude, wow, thank you. That is, that is unbelievable, bro. I've entirely lost my train of thought. Okay, Raz going for a double and he doesn't get it again. Blocked by Zach's back. Man, all right, um, focusing now. Dude, that is just, that is so damn generous. Thank you. And yeah, Rockstar on the promotion. In fact, for the promotion, you get that. Congratulations.
That is fantastic. Good work, brother. Oh, I just did a, a victory sign at the camera that I'm not on. All right, back to this game. Three minutes, 20 left to go. We are deadlocked at 0-0. Are the oldies going to grace us with another four, almost five-minute overtime with zero goals? Let's see how it goes. Echo with the clear. Nicely done. Going to be picked up by Raz in the middle. Harry. Zach gets there to clean up, but pre good pressure building here by the oldies. Harry, it's so awkward. Can Echo get the shot? It hits the post and bounces away. Ah, oh, Ghost, I wish I had the attention span to play another game as well, but I only play one game because that's all I can focus on. Half a game of Rocket League is done, and there is no goal. Both teams trying to pry. Both teams with their can openers out trying to pry open the defense of the other team. Neither succeeding yet, but pretty good, exciting play so far. Corpses Kids lie 20th on the log. The oldies lie 9th. But Corpses Kids fighting hard. Harry flying in for the shot, but he misses it. Cody, outstanding, a week. What are you going to do with yourself? Echo gets a clear. Zach, Zach, he's got a go. Raz went, read that so well off the back wall. It looked for all money like Harry was going to break through and score but now an opportunity Zach with the clear but echoes on the end of it it's floating in front but cleared away by Harry tense opportunities by both teams either side of the field we're now down to a minute 20 we are still waiting for the opening goal of the series and no dice Zach looking for the pass Harry's all the way back on the other side but here comes Harry, looking for the touch in front. He gets it nicely. Echo's going to wait for it to come down and carry it out. Gives away possession there, and Harry will get on the end. Raz, what can he do with this? Bring it around the corner. Oh, misreads the touch around. Can't do much, but the pressure. Good pressure from the oldies here. Can they make it count? Although Echo gives it away there. Zach is back as a shot at an open net, and he will score 42 seconds from time. Raz saw too late the danger that was coming and couldn't get back in time for the save. Thirty-five seconds for the oldies. Another mistake here yeah, is going to see Zach's back get his second. And we haven't seen too many mistakes, but we saw one there. Raz saw the ball so late. Jumped, snatched at it, and landed up just passing it in front where Zach's back, Zach's back just came in and cleaned up. And now, a pretty solid lead with only 33 seconds to go. You would expect them to hold on to that lead. Oh. Zach's back. And, oh my goodness, Corpses Kids looking pretty much in charge of this situation right now. Jensen, unequal fire with his other YouTube account is in the chat. Hello and welcome. Just in time to see Corpses Kids take game one off the oldies. So, the entire Corpses Kids team, their combined age is younger than the youngest player on the oldies. All right, we make our way now to the Forbidden Temple. And I think we'll go back tonight. All right, what have I missed in chat? Unequal, it's great to see you here, J otherwise known as Jensen. Are you the one from Newcastle? Just curious. So best of Manfield Forbidden Temple, 
Utopia DFH then Champions Field. Okay, so I've replaced Utopia with uh, Neo Tokyo and DFH with Wasteland. All right, game two, the oldies, after sweeping in their three versus three earlier, now find themselves a game behind. They got some work. You got some work to do. Harry, oh, looking to clear it off the backboard. It was awkward and it presented a scoring opportunity for the oldies, but they don't take it. And now they're going to have to work. Echo bumps it back with this is. Echo in front. Oh! Raz now. Looking to bring it back. And I don't know how much attention everyone's paying to my casting, but if you're paying close attention, you would have noticed that I got confused about which side was which a moment ago. But I'm sorted now. My old man moment is done. Zach is back. Bangs it forward. Okay, well, if I ever do best of seven, I'll throw in GFH and Utopia. I mean, uh, Urban and Utopia. All right, a similar situation developing here in game two that we saw in game one. A long period with no goals scored. And then we had a rush of two goals in about 30 seconds close to the end. 42 seconds from the end, in fact. But so far, no goal. Zach's back. Sees an open net. Pops it over. Echo and gets it into the net. An early score. Minute and 25 seconds in. Echo caught in no man's land there. And Zach's back punishes. Corpses, kids, one up and one game up. Jensen would love to, but I have two more series to cast after this one. Raz. So all this gold, they're going to need, they're looking to reestablish some composure here. They've, they've looked good, but not finding the goal. They are yet to score in this series. But here comes Raz, looking to change that. Harry's having none of it. Three shots by the corpses and four by oldies. Oldies not making any of them count just yet, though. Uh, Brian, you can't be in this tournament. It's a league, bro. You have to sign up. It's played over weeks, not over one day or one session. Echo looking to build the pressure. Okay, surely now. Surely. And indeed, it is. And stop calling me Shirley. Echo passing to himself off the off the side wall, picks up boost, goes home and finishes. And they score their first goal in the series to level up in game two. And I have just seen that Echo has titanium white 8-bit glasses as a topper. That is so damn cool. I want them and I want them bad. Uh, you can definitely join next season. Uh, Brian, go and look at, go to IndieGaming.com. Link is in the description of the stream. And check it out and sign up, bro. Definitely worth being in. Starting in like two months' time. The Northern Hemisphere summer. One all, one minute 55 left to go. Both teams searching for supremacy and being unable to find it zach's back does he get the touch very nice touch threatening touch echo needs to push it back into their own corner oh is this heading toward the net it is but echo gets the clear looking to follow zach is back reads it off the high ball cleared away by echo oh mistake by harry almost gets the corpse's kids into trouble Raz with the shot oh unbelievable save i thought they were dead to rights and that was a goal but saved and corpse's kids still in this at one all echo into the corner down in front echo's got one more to beat can harry get there harry reads it firmly strongly correctly and gets it away
Marco. Raz. One to be. Can he get... Oh, oh, he, he faked out Zach once, but not twice. And then Zach, on his way past, takes out Echo. Uh, probably at about... Nine thirty BST. Oh, shot by Harry finds the open net, and with twenty six seconds to go, takes the lead. Oh, the team bump, both of them finding themselves stranded. A moment of panic, a rush of blood to the head, and the oldies are behind by a goal, and not much time to take it back. Zach's back. My goodness. When this man scores, he gets a taste for it. We saw this in game one as well. They scored one, then they scored two. And now a really tough uphill battle for the oldies. Looking like they're going to go two games behind and having to reverse sweep to make the comeback. Two hours. About two, two and a half hours, Jensen. Echo, five seconds. Can they do anything? Time is a running out. Time has a run out. There is no more time for them to make the comeback. Corpses, kids, take game number two. And on the cusp of winning the series in a sweep, which would be a surprise. It would be an upset because the oldies are sitting ninth. Corpses, kids are sitting 20th. Can the oldies restructure, refigure, reset, and come back strong in game three? Let's check it out on Neo Tokyo. Aquadome, there's an arena that gets no love. Oh, Harry left. Is he just changing car or what's happening? We're missing a player. with the early pressure he's gonna walk it into the goal from the halfway line the kickoff going pretty dead harry expecting the ball to go high up on the wall can't get back in time raz sees the yawning abyss of an open net and with no pressure whatsoever walks it in they take an early lead they'll be and they'll take some confidence from that good start for them only their second goal in the series, but coming early and immediately putting Corpse's kids under pressure. Oldies looking very aggressive. They seem to have sped it up a little bit. They're being a little more speedy to put the kids under pressure. Nice clear from Harry, but only as far as Raz. He's got a pretty open net to shoot at. Harry, though, more than, more than up to the task of getting the clear. Oh, oh, carbon fighting words when your team are busy and can't fight back in the chat. Raz. Echo gets the, gets the clear. Raz now, he's up there. Can he get it down in front? Echo can't get there. Zach's back does and gets the clear. Raz into the middle. Harry. Pressure coming now from Corpse's kids. Oldies but gold definitely want to extend this lead. But at the same time, keep their shape at the back. They don't want to overextend and find themselves counted on. That happens very often 
I have a feeling that Harry is AFK here. No, he's not. He's back. It looked like he was stationary in his own goal. Oh, the demo in front. Can Zach is back? Make something of it. He's rushing to get it in front. Meantime, the oldest player is back and he can control it out. Echo. Clears it round to his own corner. Picks up the boost, but Harry's there looking to pass it in front. Raz picks it up. Nice catch. Almost gets it round. Does get it round, but gives up his life for it. And Zach is back, looking to air dribble it into the net. Blocked. It is still oldies, but gold. Look at this pass. Look at this finish. The old men doing it in style. Raz with the catch, the one touch, the pass across. Echo making his way around the corner. Finds the bottom left hand of the net. Beautifully executed. Oldies, oldies but gold looking far better. Looks like possibly Carbon had a chat with them during the break. Read the riot act and said, come on boys, focus, get your head in the game. Looking far stronger this game. They lead by two goals, but a lot of time for Corpse's kids to make the comeback. They are under pressure now. The Corpses kids looking to move higher up, looking to bring the action, but almost getting into trouble there with the duck back into the blue half. Harry got defensive work to do now, does well with one touch, but picked up by Raz. It's loose and high in the middle. Who gets there first? Zach is back, should have got there first, but he misses. If they get it past Harry, which they have done, it should be a goal. Oh, Raz, but Zach's back. Reads the angle, gets in front of the shot, and it remains two goals to nothing. Nathan, I am fabulous. How are you? But overall, through most of this game, oldies but gold have maintained solid, constant pressure. There have been brief moments where the corpses' kids have broken out and looked threatening, but oldies rallying defending look at that work by echo wonderful in defense and seeing that the corpses kids were so far up all he had to do was touch it past once and he was home after that touch it was plain sailing down the entire length of the court into the net and they are looking very solid in game three Corpses kids struggling to find a way past the old men, the gentlemen of the game. They scored a number of goals and now they're just resorting to physical play. The demos bumping them out. Now they just want to harass them, shake them up in the middle. The demos are coming thick and fast. They're punching, punching. It's just one blow after the other. But so far, the oldies hold firm and they just need to hold out for another 30 seconds and then they will take game number three. They will take a fourth goal. They will put the kibosh on it. They are taking game four. Away they go. Kickoff number five. Corpses kids finding no answer, attempting the fake kickoff. It works out in the worst possible way it could. We had at the front, Harry faking. Zach's back, doesn't read it in the net, bangs down off the crossbar. Goal number five, and that's just put an exclamation mark at the end of this emphatic game by the oldies. All right, what comes after an exclamation mark? Another exclamation mark. Do they double exclaim? Now they look like they're 15 themselves and just adding multiple exclamations for no good reason other than, I really want to emphasize this. Ten seconds. Can corpses' kids find any way to respond here, just take, oh no, look at this. 
is, uh, is I thought Raz was looking to double into his own net. He was not. The clock will run out. And after losing two games, the oldies come back with a massive statement. If this statement was written on a sheet of paper, it would be an old-timey scroll that kept unrolling and unrolling because it is one hell of a statement. And I'm going to end that analogy now because honestly, it's going nowhere. But oldies but gold, take one back. We are going to game four on Wasteland. Wasteland Night. Let's do it. Game number five. Do corpses' kids shake off that dramatic loss in game three? and come out and take the series right here, right now? Or have the oldies but gold got enough of a taste of victory to push this one to Champions Field? Zach's back with the early shot. Oh my word, heroic save! I was calling that in in my mind and it had already gone in. How did he keep that out? Fantastic work by Zach. Keeps the score at zero, but the corpses' kids are pushing hard, applying early and hard pressure, and it is awkward. The pressure pays off, and Harry gets it under the last defender, looking to make a statement of their own, but Raz obliterating Echo. Bit of a miscommunication on who was going for that, allowed Harry to get in there. And it's corpses' kids with the early goal and first blood in this important game. Peace out, Sparks. Thanks for hanging, as always. Harry, looking for the second. I think they want to put as much, as many exclamation marks on this game as the oldies did in the previous game. Oh, it's heading toward the open net. Oh, a great read by Echo. It is so hard to get there. And you're so much against the back, on the back foot, back foot up against the ropes. Despite the heroic, Zach's back just has to track along with them and pick up the rebound and send it home. And oldies but gold facing a two-goal deficit. Zach's back high up off the backboard. Does he get the double? He does, but it doesn't go in and Harry can't get the rebound. That means their net is open. Corpses' kids... Frantically rotating back, missed by one, great opportunity, not, not brilliantly executed, they don't get the return goal, and now another demo in the midfield, the demo play, keeping, keeping Corpses' kids in front here. But it is Echo who will make the comeback goal. The pass from Raz, Echo sends it the entire distance of the field. Zach is back, slight misread. Once it went past him, there was no hope of catching it. The deficit is just one and a lot of time left in this game. Zach's back, looking to take time, but he's got no boost. He gets it past one. Good pressure here from Corpses Kids on the oldies net. They break out for at least a moment. Echo's going to have to get a touch, which he does, but it's awkward. So Raz is under massive pressure. Another demo. Corpses' kids are making corpses on the field. Demos left sight and renter. Zach is back looking for another one on Raz. Doesn't get there. The flick is high. Echo with the follow, but the touch just keeps it out. Oh, a bump of their own. Outstanding bump play by the oldies but effective, strategic bump play. Zach's back is eliminated, removed from the goal, and Raz rams it home. This is a two-all game. Raz. 
Zach. Let's see, one touch. Okay, good. Zach back gets the ball. Oh, this is so awkward. Oh, another mistake in defense. A miscommunication, and Harry pounces. Echo passing it off the back wall, but Raz was coming out to clear it, which means that Echo's touch rebounded with no one there to clean it up, and they were punished and punished hard. Corpse Kids back on top, looking to take the series. Holy moly, cop and GG. One moment, please. Whoa. Dude, thank you for the super chat. I would do it with the greatest of pleasure, sir. Echo again levels up. Sorry, I was distracted by the five pounds from the oldies teammate, Carbon. But Echo finding his way through all the players gets it in three all. This is shaping up to be something of an epic. The oldies now, they, where they do well is where they kind of build slow pressure and they just keep it coming. Looking to do it now. Corpses kids still looking to play that very aggressive tilting kind of play where they're always on you looking for the bump looking for the demo Raz almost gets the double it would have been beautiful it was almost worth sacrificing the defense to see it happen but it doesn't and Zach's back turns around sees an open net turns back the other way sees both the players in his net and goes well, doesn't get easier than this. And he takes the goal. Corpses kids back in front. The oldies are up against it. They gotta win this game to keep the series alive. Corpses kids wanna, oh, again with the demos. They are so physical. And that eventually starts to weigh on you. But the oldies remaining focused, looking. Oh, Echo had a beautiful opportunity, doesn't take it. The oldies looking to be a little more focused, a little bit more deliberate about their plays forward. Where the corpses' kids are just being brutal. Smash the ball, look for the demo, find the goal. And it has done enough for them that they find themselves with the one goal lead. But here comes Raz with the air dribble. Zach's back's having none of it, reads it. Oh, and you know what? What a glorious touch. But it hits the post, but Harry's there to finish up. And perhaps Echo giving up on the goal a little too early. Not expecting the miss, he stopped right there. If he had kept going towards net, he had a chance at bumping Harry out of the way or saving the ball. And that's a lesson for all of you kids out there. Never give up on the ball. If Even if it looks like a dead certain, never going to miss 1,000% goal, you should be chasing that down like a dog after a bone because anything can happen. And now the oldies, two goals, a two-goal deficit. This should now be just a one-goal deficit. Indeed it is. Raz on the low boost, pick-a-pad jump, pick-a-pad jump, gets his way across the field and scores. Echo with a demo of his own behind him. It's one goal, 25 seconds. Oh no, breaking the hearts of the oldies is Harry from the kickoff. It was fairly even. Echo and Harry both racing toward it. Harry gets their first slots into the open net. And just when it seemed like the comeback was on, it's two goals. Tough, tough job now for the oldies. A pickle rig! This was a fantastic game. It was so even in so many parts, so physical, so tense. Both teams fighting and fighting hard and it looked like the oldies were going to do enough to pull in front but corpses kids with their demo play constantly in the face of the oldies they find themselves in a 10 goal game coming out on top six games to four and it is corpses kids who are going to take this series 
three games to one. And this is their first victory of the season. They've had two losses, no wins, but this is their first win. Whereas the oldies have won two, lost one. That record now becomes even pretty 50-50 with two wins, two losses going forward from here. But congrats to both teams for being here, for duking it out, for fighting it out. We will see you again, no doubt. Good game, well played. All righty, wow. Some epic stuff there. Well played by Corpse's kids. The youngsters prevailing over the more seasoned, mature, and experienced professionals. Ghost, welcome back. All right, so next game coming up is again the oldies. Also a 2v2. Hopefully they will do better. We hope the other team shows up, but we will wait. That coming up in 25 minutes. I'm going to take a five-minute break now. And then when I come back, we'll hang around, we'll chat, maybe squeeze in a game or two, and then we'll get into another epic best of five Rocket League series.
Welcome, welcome back. So we're going to have another series coming up. And, and Ghost, I knew that there was a ghost voice somewhere, which I found during the break. So when, whenever you come back and chat, I will greet you with... Ghost, welcome to my chat. It's good to see you here. So there you go. You got your own personal voice. Um, can I use the skyline? Nathan, what do you, do you just want to see the skyline? You want me to ride the skyline? What do you actually want there? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Um, so Nathan, what do you want? You want to see the skyline? I can show you the skyline. Do I even own it? I can't remember if I've ever owned it on this account. I think I've got it on my other account. Um, let's go here. Yeah, I don't have it on this account. I've got it on my OG account. This is my OG account. I've got it on one of my other accounts. Let's put it that way. Oh no, you must listen. I'll 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 give it a try, but I'm a I'm a Batmobile main right now. And I don't think you can say I'm a Batmobile main right now. If you remain, you remain. But uh, this is the car I'm using right now. Supra Gaming, welcome to chat. Uh, JDM, uh, I don't know. We're going to know in 18 minutes if the other teams show up or not. All right, I haven't even done the overlays. I was supposed to do that during the break. <laughs> Fair enough. You're definitely not the problem there, Raz. I've sent you a Discord. I, I'm interested to know if you've heard anything. Oh my word, okay. Uh, JDM, if you're in chat, there's a very good likelihood of your game coming up next. Nathan, you used to be a GC three years ago. Do you know what's crazy about that? Is that the way I'm playing now, I would have been a GC three years ago. But the damn skill level keeps going up. Which sucks for people like me. 
Um, the overlays. The over do you know what? I'm so hesitant to do the overlays because this may not happen. And then, oh, do you know what? I'll set it up for both teams and then, uh, 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 gotcha. Um, that's something for me to sort out. Sorry, I'm just thinking about thinking about how to make my life easier with these overlays and automating things. Um, and the overlays are a bit clumsy because it's all browser sources. And... <clears throat> And it just, it's, it's a ball ache to get it all sorted out. I'm actually going to figure out another way to do it. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, Carbon GG. Uh, listen, I, now I, I'm going to leave the domestic issues to the two of you. Good luck. Have a, have a conversation. Yeah, fair enough, Nathan. And, and, and especially when... If you left the game and coming back, it's a bit jarring because, of course, your muscle memory's all messed up um, and the skill level's changed. It can, but you know what? You just got to grind it. You're going to land up at a lower rank and lower rank and a lower rank and just just grind your way. Get back into it, bro. Um, I'm going to send it. I'm going to set that lobby up now. Actually. I like DFH. Uh, what's the name of this teen? Something Zuma. Excellent, Nathan. Keep it up, bro. My favorite movie. I'll tell you my top five movies of all time. And they are, one second, let me get this sorted and then I'll tell you my top five movies. Inna Zuma. Oh, shit. Inna Zuma. Okay, lobby's up. G3 stream, what's up? Okay, so my favorite movie, I'll tell you my top five favorite movies of all time in no particular order. Um, so these could be first, second, third, fourth, or fifth. I just, these are my five favorite movies ever. The Shawshank Redemption, Groundhog Day, Back to the Future, Lethal Weapon, Die Hard. There you go. Best movies ever. Have you seen, you've seen those movies, right? I mean, you know what I'm talking about here. I mean, how many of them are old? Groundhog Day is old. That's 1990s. Die Hard and Lethal Weapon are 80s. Shawshank Redemption is the 90s. And Back to the Future is very much the 80s. So there we go. Very old. Zach Norris, otherwise known as Zach's Back. An absolute pleasure. Well played. You guys were demons. And I will tell you this, if it was me playing against you, you would have triggered me finished with all of those demos, bro. But very well played. Nice, Nathan. Nice. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. All right, so what are you doing, they said. Ah, oh, so I'm just sitting here talking shit to all the animals. Ah, oh, G3 stream. Are you from Inazuma?
Killer Nate, I'll have a look. Oh, sorry, G3 Streamers getting very excited because we've been struggling to find the, uh, the opposing team. So I was hoping you were one of them. US East. Well, unlucky for you. All right. Well, here we are just sitting, chilling in the lobby. Generally talking shit to all the animals. Waiting for a game of Rocket League to get going. Killer Nate, let me see if I can find a voice for you. Uh, that's the wrong one. I don't think so, you know. I mean, not one that's... I mean, the voice that I'm using for Ghost is literally called Ghost. G3 Stream, why are you asking? This is a private match for a league. So unless you're in a Zuma, I can't, it's, it's not like generally for everybody to join. I don't have a voice specifically for you, Killer Nate, sadly. There's two very specific teams that I'm waiting for. One of those teams is already in the lobby. JDM, are you here in the chat or not? Do I need to find you on Discord? Timothy Ennis is back! Are you back were you here earlier tonight? I don't remember seeing you here tonight. So, but if I missed you earlier, sorry about that. And welcome back. My name is like dangerous, like kill. Yeah, I got you, Nathan. I'll keep looking, bro. I'll keep looking. And in the meantime, Timothy Ellis, welcome back to chat. Where have you been? It has been dreadfully quiet without you here. Thank God you've made a return. Gosh, it's quiet while we wait. Feels like this. Hey, is anyone here? Is anything going on? It seems awfully quiet in here. Is there going to be any kind of action? Is anything going to happen at all? Is anyone here that can be my friend? Anyone? Anyone at all? Who would you like to 1v1, be it a pro player or a content creator? Definitely not a pro player because I'm too shit at 1v1s. But another content creator. Do you know what? If I'm if I'm selfishly honest, it would be any content creator that had a shit ton of views. Because that would be very good for me. It would put a lot of eyes on my channel. So any content creator that's got 500k plus subscribers or followers. All right. Now we wait. You know what? Uh, oh, God, I can't leave the lobby. I was going to say, let me at least get into some free play and mess around there, but I can't yet. So no one's redeemed the joke. I mean, this is the perfect time for me to tell a joke, but no one's redeeming it. We could be burning time here. Instead, we're sitting here awkwardly with me drinking a Sprite, hoping something will happen. Nathan, that is indeed selfish. 
Uh, I would take any of those. Mercy, Musty, or John. Absolutely. If they got hold of me and said, hey, do you want to be on my stream? I'd be like, man, I love you. Absolutely, I want to be on your stream. I mean, of all of them, I like Sunless the most. Sunless was the first content creator I really enjoyed. I enjoyed his content back in the days when he was doing Why You Suck at Rocket League. I loved those. Um, and, and he was funny, like properly funny. So, yeah. There you go, Nathan. So now you have to tell me. Oh, you don't have enough gray bucks to redeem a joke. That's a shame. We came so close. Because he is the worst. <laughs> Oh, my green screen fell off my chair. Magic, there it disappears. All right, a little bit of DIY maintenance work happening live on stream. I love it. I love it. All right, we have five minutes to go. No sign of the other team just yet. Well, Nathan, I understand that. I'm a carry GC. I'm a GC on my other account, but absolutely carried, boosted. La, 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 Welcome. Do I know? <laughs> oh, la, 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 la. You're so hilarious. Jeez. I wonder what that word is. I've never heard of the YouTuber Ice. I've not heard of him. Uh, Nathan, these are indeed JBLs. I love these guys that come in here and and try that and try that uh, try and get me to say some rude shit. It has never worked. I have never, ever been caught. Good luck to you. Do your worst, people. Never been caught. My real name is Ryan, which is Irish for Little King. I felt you should know. And now you do. Oh, la, 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 la. You deleted the message. You retracted it. Why you do that? All right. It's three minutes to nine. The... The scheduled start time of this match is 9 o'clock. The opposing team, both teams have up to 10 minutes of leeway to make it into the lobby. So we pretty much have to wait until 10 past. So I'm just chilling here. I look like a Ryan. You mean devastatingly dashing. Charming as... Ah. But okay. You type like a Nathan, if that helps.
Hey, did anybody see my cast a short video? So I'm making, so YouTube has this new thing called shorts, which are videos that are less than a minute long. And in fact, the shorter, the better. So what I'm starting to do is I'm clipping moments from my casting and posting like a 10 or 15 second excerpt from the casting. If you haven't seen it, go to the channel and watch my caster short number one and give it a like. I look like I'm five. You are the only one who's active right now. There are, there are, there's a few of us here, but some are lurking, some are doing other things. You're, you're the only one chatting, Nathan and I, and I thank you for that. Keeping me company. It'll get, it'll get busier, I think, once we get a game going. It is one minute to nine, and we don't have any sign of the opposing team just yet. <clears throat> All right, Nathan, since since we're waiting and there's nothing to do, let's see if we can find a voice. Uh, thank you very much, Nathan. I appreciate that. What's this one? Let's see, let me hear this voice. Hello, Nathan. Oh, that's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay, that's no good. What funny guy? What's up, dog? Oh, I still have the voice on. <laughs> Sorry, no funny guy. What's up? What's this one? Let's try this one. This one's good for me. Hello. Oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. Maybe. Eh, it's called Boomer. Boomer. All right, one minute past. One minute past nine, nine minutes to go. I'm not hopeful. Yeah, well, it's Sunday night. I've cast three, five game series of Rocket League. Trying to start the fourth, we have a missing team and there will be another one. So that's been my night, casting Rocket League and it has been fabulous, fabulously Fabulous. Um. Holy moly, Nathan, and it's Monday tomorrow. Shouldn't you be in bed getting some beauty rest? What's this one? Hello? Kill a Nate! Kill a Nate! Yeah, there's lasers. There's lasers. Lasers, is, is, is. Nate, that'll be your voice. Oh, uh, I think he meant AM because it's definitely not PM where he is. It's definitely AM. So I know he's in India and they're. This is the only place that's like throws in an extra half an hour on the time zone. So everyone else is like one hour behind, two hours, five hours, India, three and a half. Let's throw in that half an hour there because why not? Okay, let me save this voice.
There it is. Okay, good. All right, what time is it? It is four minutes past. Six minutes for the other team to show. Nothing yet. That is very weird. It's just weird that you're like an extra half an hour thrown in there. That's, but you know what? The whole the whole subject of time zones has evolved in a really weird way. You know, it wasn't a global standard earlier. As the world was evolving, every area set their own times. And then as we globalized, we try to squeeze it in for this area. And then it didn't work for that. So it's been a balls up. But, you know, we live with what we live with. Ah. All right, the oldies just hanging in there. It's getting close to their bedtime. I don't want to keep them up too late. I hope the other team shows up. And just anyone who's arriving in chat, just so you know why nothing's going on, I have a scheduled game for 9 o'clock, which is five minutes ago, um, between two teams for a best of five 2v2 Rocket League matchup. And the one of the teams has not showed up. Um, so we're waiting for them to arrive and we have to wait 10 minutes because you have 10 minutes of leeway. And if they don't show up, then my 10 o'clock game is going to come on now. So that'll happen 50 minutes early. So there you go. That's, that's what's happening. If you've just arrived and went gone, why is there some old guy sitting there doing nothing with a static rocket league lobby in the background Nothing's happening. Why have I bothered to arrive here? Well, that's what's going on. I'm kind of just, I'm just waiting. Hey, Hypersonic. I hope you, under, hope you understood my explanation. Welcome to chat. Good to see you. All right, so I'm not going to bother. I'm only going to do so. I'm going to go sort out the overlays for the next game. I'm going to assume that these guys aren't going to show up. And I'm just going to do... I'm just going to do the overlays. But not the rosters. I'll just tell you the rosters. All right, so the game, it looks like I'll be casting. The one that's not happening is Oldies But Gold up against Inazuma. A 2v2, tier, and it's unfortunate because it's a tier 2 level. It's pretty exciting play, but it is what it is. So instead... Instead, <coughs> we're going to have... Nathan, I can't free play because I have to keep the lobby open. The lobby, the, we're waiting for people to arrive into this lobby. Lemon! Oh my goodness gracious, it is Lemon. Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. A long time. How are you, broski? Good to hear from you. Uh, not funny guy. Um, it's being scheduled on the Indie Gaming League website. Teams book it there. I am very well, Broski. How are you? 
Vamos, Ninja Extreme, are you here? It looks like I'm going to be taking your game. I have one more minute to wait. And it looks like that is going to be over. All right, it is now 10 past, so I'm going to release the oldies. Oldies but gold, it has been a pleasure casting your two series. Well played, the threes was epic, the twos you came close. So you may go now. Uh, let, let me let them know. And I'm sorry the third game didn't happen, but we'll pick it up again. Let's go Galactic. I love it. Alrighty. So the game we have coming up is Galactic Esports versus Abstract Indigo, which reminds me I need to let them know the lobby details. Abstract Fanatic. So we'll wait for them to get in the lobby, and then we'll go. All right. Oh, I have to change. Hold on, guys. We have to leave. We have to restart. I have to change the team names. Sorry, guys. Remaking. Uh, Galactic Esport. And... Abstract Indigo. Wow, why is it here? No, why is it... Oh, Exhibition Match. My God. That was close. I nearly really balls it up. Um, so, Galactic, you guys are blue. Oh, my word. Okay, so... Uh, Extremo and JDM. Your, uh, your opposing team are not quite ready. Their third is a bit delayed, so we're going to wait a few minutes. This is great. This is one long, boring section of stream, but what are you going to do? What? Oh, come on. So I've cast both of these teams before. I like how both of them play. You can see their win record. Their Galactic Esport are undefeated. Coming off an epic five-game thriller yesterday. Abstract Indigo with a 3-1 win-loss record. So I think we're going to have a pretty damn good matchup. And this game is a lot earlier than it was scheduled, so fine. I think we have to give a lot of leeway here. Ah, oh, Nathan, good man. Good man. Do you know what? I'm going to ask him to buzz when ready. Because I can at least play. So, I'm going to leave. We'll remake the lobby when it's ready, when everyone is ready. And I'm going to go play. Okay, I can make it with an S. Oh, are you talking about the overlay? The reason it's not there, there's no space on the overlay. That's how it comes from IGL. Almost warm-up time for us. What are you talking about, Lemon? What are you playing in?
I'm just gonna do a casual twos. What work? What workshop do you want me to do, Nathan? I'll tell you what workshops I got. Oh shit! I didn't cancel. I guess I'm in a game now. Whoa, Lemon, that's awesome. How come nobody tells me this? I'd love to cast these games. Nobody asks. Nobody checks. I don't know where to check. I'd love to be casting. You should let me know. If we win, I will sub. Okay. That's a deal. So this guy will sub. Made a mistake. So now we have to win. So now there's something on the line. Normally in casual, I don't care, but now I do. What a shot! Oh, he's gonna get there. Oh, sis, man. Now suddenly I'm sweaty and try hard in a casual. All for a sub. Welcome to the life of a YouTuber. Sorry, I'll check chat in a second. Redeem joke. Nathan, you don't have enough gray bucks. Lemon, that would be great. If I get warning, I'll schedule it and do it. I was very keen. Save. I don't know if I can get back. <laughs> Lacquer lemon. Well, here's to seeing you very soon. that boost for my mate but then the other oh god it fuck I got bumped uh, hypersonic if you check the link there's a link that posts every 10 or 15 minutes thanks lemon um, there's a whole store and you can of what you can redeem with your gray bucks and you earn gray bucks by watching the stream and gambling and winning. Doesn't look like I'm getting a sub here. Unless my season two grand champion pulls one out of the bag.
All right, one more to level it up. Oh, what a save. Risky. Oh no! Then I bumped my mate while I was watching that. Nice! Oh no, they're ready! Oh yes! <laughs> oh, H17, thank you very much. I'm gonna get an extra sub by playing a game of Rocket League. Okay, our teams are ready. Let's go, Commandos, it's howling time. Let's not fuck about anymore. All right, the lobby is up. Thank you. Oh, Hamza, dude. Hello. Well, I have to say, I have to give you one of these and say thank you very much. <laughs> I've never sweated so much in a casual game before. <laughs> awesome stuff. Oh, brilliant. All right, both teams are in. We're ready to go. Best of five, Galactic Esport versus Abstract Indigo. Without further ado, let's roll. Go. Oh, no, my headphones are going flat. Oh, that's going to be a disaster. Um, I need to go there. I need to turn the camera off. Let's go. Thank you so much, Hamza. All right, away we go. It's going to be a tough matchup. Galactic not having lost a match so far. Abstract Indigo only losing one. Two very competitive teams. Galactic Esport with a new player. One of their one of their team kind of let them down a little over the last week. So they're trying out a new player in VI, VI Plexity. VIP Lexity. I don't know if he's Viplexity. Let's go with Viplexity. Why not? But he's new in their team. No, what, Cody, I'm so sorry that so much of the stream was a little bit boring for you. You arrived at a, at a kind of an awkward time, but great to have you here. And dude, once again, thank you so much for the, for the super chat. That's so incredibly generous. Thank you. And peace out. Be well and be safe. Nathan, peace out, bro. Sleep well. We'll see you again. All right, so we have iSans, It's Fanatic, and then Hwaku! Diamond Hands, I don't know why it's... Oh! Oh my word, what a save! That was so damn close! Oh, it's still so awkward for Galactic! Finally, JDN comes in and gets the clear! My goodness! Ninja Extremo, Viplexity, and JDM, Isam, Joaquin, and It's Fnatic. Okay, got myself settled on who's playing it. JDM with a shot forward, Fnatic, and a catch it, control it, take it out. And the more, oh, v Viplexity does an outstanding job for Galactic Esport. Fnatic looking to control it out. Viplexity just goes back, picks his pocket off the wall, and takes it in. What a play. I'd like to report a robbery on DFH Stadium. Joaquim, oh no! It's a whiff, but Isams is behind. Calmly picks it up. 
takes it out very nicely done very calmly done which is important no panicking by isams and now they look to apply some pressure and get one back what a pass what a play what a finish isams who had just come out of a very tricky defensive situation gets around two players passes it into the middle fanatic reads it like it was a nursery rhyme and sends it home It's fanatic! They took a while to get going, did Abstract Indigo, and Isams on fire for his team. The linking up, it's an injured Extremo trying to get the clear, but the linking up between these two players, right now, it is fire! And it is Abstract Indigo that now have the lead. But half a game of Rocket League left to go. Isams clearing away from his goal line. Here comes Ninja. Gets a touch. A little bit awkward. Who picks it up? Perplexity into the middle. JDM with a shot. It's going to go high and wide. Joaquin now flicks it over one. Ninja does very well to get that read. But Isams off the ceiling. Fnatic. They almost get a third. The third link up between these two players. All almost played to perfection but it remains 2-1 hey hot z monster oh that's awesome to hear he's a he's a he's a fan of the channel as well welcome hot z loose in the middle the plexity's gonna get his second and the second for galactic esport we got a tight game jdm down to perplexity the, it was an awkward touch. It kind of bounced loose into the middle. Perplexity is like, yeah, baby, I'm taking that gift and banging it home. Glad to see your project taking off, Hot Zen. It looks fantastic. Well done. I'm very pumped about it. JDM. Loose in the middle. Perplexity again will pick it up across to Ninja Extremo. Here he comes. Gorgeous flick. Oh, JDM almost with the epic read. But it's kept out by Abstract Indigo. They are still under pressure. Diamond Hands, Joaquim, getting it out and cleared, but only not too far. A sustained period of pressure by Galactic Esports is seeing them camping out in the orange side. Very, very keen to see how it progresses, mate. Perplexity. Oh, nice cutout by Joaquim. And now it's only JD, JDM left in net. Perplexity gets back into a defensive position. So they're fine for now. But the pressure suddenly reversed. But for how long? Perplexity. JDM. And again, it is Galactic Esports that revert to their play of just constant pressure. Just about the entire team in the orange side. It's working out well for them. Abstract struggling to get the ball away. Every time they look to get it out, it gets to the halfway line and then just finds its way back in. A final shot! Doesn't go in. The ball will bounce now. And we find ourselves... Overtime. Let's go! Oh, is that going to be loosened in? It squeezes out Galactic Esport. Oh, ho, ho. but the reprieve doesn't last long. Joaquin on the confusion. The ball comes off and almost upside down with his dodge bangs it in. And Abstract Indigo prevail in game number one. They take the early lead and will go into game two with an advantage. And in game two, we find ourselves going to Urban Central.
Why not? Haven't we haven't done Urban Central? Let's go to Urban Central. Shots, seven, nine shots from Abstract, only five from Galactic, which is very surprising because they were in charge of so much of that game. I'm surprised to see Abstract getting so many, so much of the action. Let's go, game two. And away they go. They're off. Early defensive work to be done by Galactic Esport. It is Abstract Indigo trying to press and press an advantage. And nice work by Isabs to finish. Joaquin gets the duck. JDM in desperation trying to clear, but it bounces off the corner nicely for Isabs, who makes no mistake. Early goal for the Indigos. Sink slays. What's up? Hey, Ballroom Blitz is back. Hey, the chromosomes. I like your guy's style, boys. Nicely done. When you're not on a level, and all it takes is time and effort. Lovely work by Joaquin, but read by perplexity to get it away. Nice tense play, but early on, Abstract Indigo not allowing Galactic Esports to apply the pressure they were doing so well in game one. But for all their pressure, they only got four shots of goal. Whereas Abstract Indigo banging the ball out, getting lots of shots and enough goals to take the victory. Nice by JDM, is going to come down off the backboard. Fnatic pops it backward, but it's going to fall to Perplexity, who has looked very dangerous when he gets the ball in front of an opposition net. Oh my word, that was almost glorious. So close to glory, and such is Rocket League. The difference between glory and infamy is just a few pixels wide. Definitely, oh, a story of two games. Ninja Extremo is like bumped out of the way. That nearly worked out so well. But Galactic Esports for now, keeping it clear and away. They'll have an opportunity. The ball's loose. It's Fnatic is going to put it off, off the backboard, goes for the bump. But no one from his team to pick up the loose ball. Perplexity looking to get it out. Does he get this touch? He does, but it goes out into no man's land. Ninja Extremo loses out on the 50 to Joaquin. Oh, what a demo! Oh my word, it's brutal. The demo play nearly works out. They survive it. But I'm sure by now, Galactic Esports got to be feeling a little punch drunk. In front of the oh, abstract net, no one there to finish it off. This is better now. It's a little bit rushed, a little bit hairy by Galactic Esports. Oh no! The Plexity is going to be credited with the goal. But my word, he gets the touch. I Sam's trying to get a touch on it. And... Oh, you hate to see it, but this game is leveled up. Thank you, Hot Zen. I'm trying not to overuse them. I use them very sparingly, but I have to say, my punch and kick sound effects. <laughs> oh, I get such a kick out of using them. I probably use them too much. <laughs> okay, back to the game. <laughs> oh! 
Oh, Ninja Extremo with the whiff. It's Fnatic gets past Perplexity. They have an opportunity now, but I like the look of this Perplexity player. He's very calm in defense and devastating in attack. He leads it away. Isams with a touch away, but Perplexity picks it up, gets past one almost, but not quite past Isams. Lovely little passage of play by Perplexity, but solid defensive work. Ninja Extremo seemed to grow an extra three inches on that Octane to get the touch away. Oh no! Disaster for Galactic Esport. JDM on the back wall makes a hash of the clear. Fnatic, like a scavenger, pounces onto the loose clear and sends it home. 54 seconds to go. Abstract in charge right now. And now slowly but surely, the pressure of the clock will begin to take its toll. Twenty-five seconds to go for Galactic Esports to find something out of this match. Otherwise, they're facing the prospect of having to reverse sweep. And I have not yet cast a match where a team were able to reverse sweep. It's a little bit of a mythical animal it is, the reverse sweep. It's a little bit like a unicorn. You hear stories of them, but you very seldom, and in my case, never see them. And that will be that. It is Abstract Indigo who go up two games to nothing. Galactic Esports got to find a way back, find a way to push through this relentless Abstract Indigo pressure. And now they will have to go duke it out on Wasteland Night. We head into game three. Oh, I know it can happen, Hot Zen. All I'm saying is I, it's never happened on one of my streams. I've never cast a reverse sweep. I did cast, however, today a 9 minute and 57 second game of Rocket League. Zero goals in five minutes and the first goal coming in four minutes and 57 seconds of overtime. That, as it stands now, has been the most epic game of Rocket League I've ever cast. It was amazing. So yet to see the reverse sweep, but I have no doubt I will get to see it. And maybe, just maybe, I'll get to see it tonight. Galactic Esports with an undefeated record. They are going to be chasing this and chasing it hard. JDM with the open net. He muffs it. He hits the post. And Isams is going to take it right back to the Galactic Esports side. That was such a good opportunity for them. And they let it go a begging. Ball's high and loose in the middle. No one from Galactic to take advantage. But here comes JDM. It's Fnatic. Lovely read. Stood firm on the goal line. Waited to see what would happen with the ball. And then put himself in front of it. Nice in front of the net. And surely now. No. Fnatic again. Again. Finds a way to get in front of the ball. And save his team. We are 0 0. A minute and 15 seconds. Perplexity. If there was anybody I'd put money on to bury that shot, it would have been Perplexity. But the pressure telling, the pressure showing on every member of the squad, they've got to take a breath, reset a little. They're creating outstanding opportunities. They have got to bury them and put them home. In the meantime, Abstract Indico standing firm. And not allowing themselves to be bullied. Getting in the saves. Nice cutout by Joaquin. But the pressure building and building by Galactic. Eventually something has to give. Perplexity! They can't get back. And for all of their pressure. For all of their possession. They find themselves too high up. Can't rotate back into position. And Joaquin, when he gets the opportunity, he buries it. And that's the difference between these two teams right now. Joaquin, 
abstract indigo finding opportunities and finishing i sabs ninja extremo panicky in front of the net but he does get the clear and as long as it's only one goal they are in this but galactic esports they are chasing it they've got to find a way through they've well they can find a way through they have done it but then they need to finish they got to pull the trigger at the end um i don't really have a command for that genius and i should do but like there isn't a command that'll show you all the commands you kind of have to guess your way through it which is not which is not very good of me oh an attempt here and again it hits the post and flies over the goal to the other corner ninja extremo now gets on this oh there's a up at oh the ball was kind of left alone and loose Eric Schroeder's here. I missed him. Eric, what's up? Ninja. Now, an open net. Surely someone's got to get there. Isams touches it wide. Perplexity misreads the touch. JDM is going to hit the post. And they must be crying with frustration right now. With all of the shots that have hit the post, hit the crossbar. Gone wide, gone astray. And they've had so many chances. Ninja Extremo trying to take a bit of time. They have a minute 30 left. They do have the time. They just got it. Surely now. No. Joaquin clears it off the backboard. Ninja Extremo with an awkward touch. Isabs looking to bury it and put the nail in the coffin of this game is blocked. Galactic Esports stay alive. Only one goal behind. They need to come good. They've got to come good right now. Extremo down cut out by Fnatic. Now they're rushing back. This is awkward. JDF does well. Oh, what does that mean, Eric? Just got back from the cottage. I don't know. What? What cottage? Or is the cottage a euphemism for something? Or you just have a cottage that's far away and you've been traveling? I Sam's very important touch to clear it away. And now Galactic Esports running out of time. Are they going to lose in a sweep? They are undefeated in this league. And then to lose it in a sweep would be pretty unacceptable. They're panicking now. They've got 30 seconds. They need one or two clear-eyed, relaxed, deliberate attempts at the abstract Indigo goal. They now only have time for one. If that goes in and go in, it does. Fnatic puts the kibosh on this. Abstract Indigo have been all over the series. Galactic Esports frustrated at not being able to score. They could have and probably should have been three goals to the good right now. But it is Abstract Indigo looking the stronger of the two teams on the day. Doing what had to be done. The save there is not going to matter. Because even if Galactic Esports score now, they don't have the time to catch up. The ball is going to be grounded now. And it is Abstract Indigo who take it in a sweep. Perplexity played very well, but not enough to carry his team. They, they're such a good team, our Galactic Esports. And... If they found a way to finish, this would have been a very different turnout. But them's the breaks. That is Rocket League. Abstract Indigo played very well. Deserved winners of a three to nothing sweep over the undefeated until now Galactic Esports. And another night goes by without me seeing a reverse sweep. But I have faith that I will see it. All right, it is indeed their first series loss. All right. Oh, your friend's cottage. So that's a far way away, I'm assuming, uh, Eric Schroeder. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been an epic stream. But that brings me to the end. It was going to be five series cast. But as it turns out, it's only four. One team was a no-show, so there was a forfeit in the middle which bought me some time. So after, how long have I been streaming? Four hours and something, no? 
Yeah, around four hours, there or thereabouts. I, was, I can't see it exactly, but it's been a long time, so I'm going to call it. I will be streaming again tomorrow night, casting two best of five series. And then on Tuesday night is tournament night. I'm going to see if I can play in two tournaments and somehow see if I can get my first tournament victory. David Petronovic. Petronovic. David Petronovic. I'm going with that. I think I'm right. David Petronovic. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Your timing is interesting because I'm pretty much wrapping up. But I want to thank everybody for coming to Hang On Stream. We had an epic time. Around four hours. Um, whoa! We had an excellent sub stream. Uh, I think I got, what's it, 12 subs. Outstanding. I got a $50 super chat, a £5 super chat, a £1 super chat. So to the three of you who super chatted, you're all rock stars. I thank you so much for your generosity. Um, and yeah, I've had a I've had a dandy old time. And I hope you did as well for the time that you were here. But I'm going to be out until tomorrow night. Okay, it is my pleasure. Thanks for being there as you so often are. It has been outstanding. I'm just slowly going through my mind if there's anything I've left out. I don't believe there is. All of you are epic. Thanks for being here. And until tomorrow night, peace! I'm out. Shall we play a game?